The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you? Word. You good. You're, nigga. you're a man, my nigga. Yeah. I don't like that. I'm going to break this little shit up. You're what a man. Shit? We both said the same shit. I was just said I saw it. I wasn't saying. You didn't say you a man. When you said, yo, we said that at the same time. Hey, yo, good. these millions is going to your head, my nigga. It's a pimple. Yeah. You're a grown ass man from the bottom. You You've had a man. pimple before. <laughs> nigga, you used to put toothpaste on that. But now, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. Want to cover it look, up. look, you just got on Shorty. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you now you vulnerable yeah. like Shorty. <laughs> Kiki, you. Yeah. Be brave, show. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. God don't play about her. Yo, what's going on? God, God, God don't play, don't play about, about Kiki, though. Yeah, man. So, gang, sit back and, and let us see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No yeah. shades. Don't cover it up. <laughs> Kiki, go out with hers out there. Pimple popper. <laughs> y'all saying that make me think I need the shades. I don't feel like y'all have my best. Oh, look, uh, your man got the shades oh, in his hand. Oh, Corey Chan. Put them shades up, man. Put them oh, that the really shit. mean I need shades. Oh, man, this guy. Because I'm a man? Yes. yes. Explain that to the audience. You're a man. Audience, don't judge me. You heard the, the little tagline in the front of this shit. Apply it for once, <laughs> <you> bastard. <laughs> Them niggas fast forward through the tag. <laughs> they oh, sure to skip that. Yeah, they know it all is real. Yeah. It. Yo, you, you have a pimple, yo. No, yeah. it's not just that. What is it? What Sometimes is it? you get the big, ugly pimple not even in, that the, big. in the worst place Pause. in the world. This shit been here for like four days sitting there taunting me because it ain't been ready. <laughs> and it ain't so much the optics of it, because you're right, I'm a man, but that shit made you feel like it was a migraine right yeah. here oh, in the yeah. spot. Every time I move, it was taunting me in the mirror. So this morning I woke up, that shit was extra white. I'm on the phone with my girl. I said, look at this shit. I said, I'm about to get this motherfucker. She said, no, grab the tweezer, do it the right way, poke a little hole and get all of it. She said, it's going to swell up and you got to be on camera, so put your shades on. I said, I will bring my shades just in case. You ain't listen? I brought my shades. No, I'm talking about you, you did, did what you she said it? or you I just, did what you said. You it's not even that big. You I, it's more in there. You but gotta, anyway. You got to get the burp bees, y'all. I, I got you. Men, I, I fuck my, my face. Yeah. Men can't... Do men can't be masking men pimples, can't yo. cover pimples? Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah. you got to hold what it down. What do you think about that, Porks? Let it ride. Yeah, you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. but solely on the basis of we have dicks. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. y'all. So vanity doesn't apply. No, you laughed at me too. You was down with them. <laughs> but yes. now you want to jump no, no, back. No, no, vanity, no, 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 in this day and age, you have to hide. I think that men should be very vocal about having a skincare regimen. Most of y'all are walking around with fucking testicles and to that, underneath you say, your fucking eyes. I have a skincare regimen. I know. So yes. I'm, I'm, I'm I know he you does. You want to be very vocal about it? No. I would talk about my skincare regimen. Such a proactive bitch ass dad. <laughs> <laughs> proactive? Are you crazy? Yo, look, this, first I do this. Hey, yo, you got to get the lemon that, scrub. That was, that was an ad. About to become yeah. a Hold on. That was an ad, and they trying to make a comeback. Don't cool. Shout them out. That was an ad. They trying to make a comeback. Yo, I am so confused at y'all, right? But I'm listening because this is funny, and I'm letting it rock. If it was by your you lip, what would you do? Put do a bandit? You can't come up here about to become and talk about your be, lemon scrub. Be in the and mirror. All your, your seven Wait, years. Wait, what's wrong with that? What? Really? You could do it. Yo, you could do it, stop. but you can't be out here. Yo, yeah, I do. Use, I use this product and then this. Well, yeah, and then this, this is, is the unboxing. this. Hey, guys, my name is Joe. What the fuck are talking about, yo? Wait a second. Are you crazy, Joe? Oh, yo. With the white mask on on your Instagram live and shit. So now there's a think- word for this. I don't. I don't know if this is insecure, but there's a word for what. There's a word for it. I just can't say it. Or I'm gonna get canceled. Wait, all right. Your emotions. <laughs> 
Don't forget to take the warm rag, apply it to your face, hold it there for five. Yeah. You, I never thought, had a skin regimen. I did, but I was a you kid. You just got hot water, I feel like. I feel like you just finished. You just got done bathing from the lake. Yo, listen, listen. Oh, shit. That's kind of crazy. Nigga, look at your nasty-ass pimple, nigga. All right, don't stick it. Now, 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 to y'all, you don't have a skin a skincare regimen? Nah. I do. Well, you don't wear lotion. Yeah, that's I true. I use black soap. So you already face. on some, <laughs> you on some, I don't even know what the word is, Vinnie Harlow. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what you on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what hey, yo, you want. You the best. Ice, yo. you don't you have are, a skincare regimen? I do have a skincare regimen. If somebody saw you and a dude and asked you about your skin regimen, you wouldn't you wouldn't answer or you'd feel weird? I'd be like, yo, I, I got I got some problems. You would think he want you think he wanna fuck you? <laughs> like, no, nigga. Oh, come on. Then where are you I don't understand why men somebody, can't do that. If yo. somebody if, all right, let's say Because we normally ugly. Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. If you was to say, yo, yo, what you using on your shit, I would tell you. Thank you. But I'm not gonna sit here and, and promote yeah, it. I got this product and then I do You're this. Not doing and, nigga, we don't promote yeah, shit anyway. What if they had the bag for you? Oh, well, no, that's different. That's, all right, that's, 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 that's all right. Some shit I don't even use. I'm a promote nigga. That's, 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 wait, that's different. And, We're not talking and about that. We we having like silly talk in front of the pod, but y'all don't think that when you sit on camera, you do certain things that you maybe normally don't really give too much of a fuck about. If I'm home, I'm not trying to put toothpaste and cover this shit with a band aid and all this shit. We're on camera. That's what, why I got the skincare regimen that I uh, what do y'all what do y'all say to that Nutrizine I'm asking you <laughs> Vinny <laughs> <laughs> Bro That But I don't want to go back to you And no Answer me No that was the whole thing With Kiki Kiki like Yo dog I'm an actress I'm on TV all the time My skin I'm is fucked I'm talking about Wee Wee No no I'm about to tell you I'm about to tell you yeah. My skin is fucked up So I feel insecure about that so if you are in front of a camera, of course you have a right to feel that way. But us as men, we can't express our vulnerabilities, my I'm, nigga. At no, all. No, that's wrong. I know. It's I'm the truth. Wrong. Then it's why are y'all enforcing wrong, wrong shit? Wrong what, what makes it wrong? This is society, okay nigga. To carry yourself. It's we not a safe say, space for men, my promoting nigga. It, nigga. I'm not disagreeing. It Mal was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. No. <laughs> Male <laughs> grooming yeah. is a thing. Ain't nobody Boy, tell you to sense. go fucking go door to door and sell Mary Kay, nigga. <laughs> but you could talk. You could talk about y'all are nuts. He's been in jail life. his whole life. Okay. <laughs> we shouldn't. He don't know about no fucking skincare. No matter. Corey, I'm, I'm with Corey. Corey is one you of the most prissy niggas I know. Niggas you fuck. Would you like them to have a skincare regimen? I appreciate it. <laughs> Why would you answer? I'm you get, sorry. You get, you get manicures, right? Why? Facials too. Yeah, you do all the shit. We do the same shit. <laughs> Except I lather. <laughs> <laughs> With different things. He ain't gonna express it though. No, I, yeah, I'm not. That's all. Yeah. I'm we not can't, we can't, we can't, can't, like I want y'all to live better than that. This nigga's skin glow. Look at the top. Like, I want y'all to live glow. better. That's, wow, you just can't that's be nuts highlighting that shit, bro. As that is, we nuts can't do that. I'm not wearing no glasses over no pimple, my nigga. Can't come with That's it. Dog, you can put glasses on. Embrace your pimple. Big ass bulge. Well, you normally wear glasses too, though, so it wouldn't be weird. That's what I mean. Oh, here y'all go. I can hear the Reddit think oh, pieces now. <laughs> Wearing the glasses is one thing. Sitting there saying, oh shit, I got a pimple. Let me cover this is totally different. That's true. I'm mad that y'all can't but that y'all feel that way about vulnerability and lotion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, that's crazy. You bugger. Nah, yeah, I think nah. I got a clip about vulnerability. Oh, oh man. Nah. Yo. Not, not your man again. <laughs> Nah, we can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. And, now, as and as now we got to start with some Sade, man. It looks <laughs> as, it's looked at as a weakness. <laughs> I was going to start with some Jeezy or something, but... Ain't nothing wrong no, with that. No, no, no. Skin yeah. care and Sade go hand in hand. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, we, we That's what you put on when you're doing your... Uh, feeling, your vulnerable, feeling vulnerable now? <laughs> Holy shit. <show. laughs> Yo, yeah, why they telling me I don't know the code to my computer? Because your cap's on. Oh. Boom. Yo, you mad nosy. <laughs> <laughs> mad nosy. Yo, she answered that shit like, your capsule. I was watching you the whole time. <laughs> no, your password and everything. This nigga is crazy. I can't believe y'all. Anyway. It's cool, bro. 
Mel, I didn't think you was here. I thought you was on a plane somewhere. Oh, what? Oh, but you just got back. Like, it was just. It was this a, morning. It was a quick. Oh, you little, took a little trippy trip. It was a quick little turnaround. Where'd you oh. go? Or in, is that uh, top no, secret? No, I was in Atlanta. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was in Atlanta. For work or play? Uh, both. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A little yeah. work play. Yeah, work play. Plark, good time. Stay, yep, stayed at my new favorite hotel. Um, don't add t- coming. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> right there, they don't they don't play. Get your shit off. Go. Hey, if they paid you, if they paid you, go ahead. Keep it. I'm gonna just. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> I had a whole knock in there, y'all. <laughs> this is right. I don't fuck some shit up. I don't want everybody yeah. to find out about this article? shit just yet. Uh-huh. You got a new article about you out here? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a press run? I see you. I see you. I see you. No, you get, oh, you get the real hand clap. Yeah. That's not what, you got another article, nigga? <laughs> what you got going on? I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I'm lost. Yeah, What's new, wrong new with one you hit dog? the streets. A new, oh, out a here, new, bro. A new one hit the streets. Oh, shit. Get away from me. Yo. What is it? Vibe, nigga? <laughs> this nigga said the vibe. What's wrong with you, yo? <laughs> nah, this one, they, they... I didn't get to read it yet, but I just saw it. Where? Shit. On his page? The head paragraph was enough. I saw it on Reddit. Antoine gives or maybe his, the community I forget which one gives his somewhere. best tips on rehab yo dog <laughs> <laughs> that's, you can't right. support you can't support your friends memory or something you can't support your friends he don't remember everything I hate this nigga this nigga got a photographic memory he don't like yeah. no light on him I none don't. yeah I'm not but he can't take compliments but, support nothing bro nothing. oh shit but do you, do you <laughs> but you don't look to change <laughs> that like as you're in the entertainment field you got him ish can you answer me I'm getting there yeah I'm getting there I'm trying. Bro, listen. People's personality. Is this vulnerable? No. Nah. Uh, yes. No, no, no. no, no. It's, it's vulnerable. Just people, people's personalities are their personalities. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? Your personality I'm, can adapt a little bit, though. I'm, I'm getting there. Somebody said, bro. Yo, dog, don't pontificate me to death. I'm getting there. As you seeing all the coin that these fucking smart talking niggas is making out here, and you, you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you, oh, I'm yeah. at some point you st- I'm trying looked to get and said, them. "All right, enough is enough." Now let me stop. N- playing. And they best. arrested your man. <laughs> the best comment. Oh, and they arrested they Caesar. Said, bro, really waited till Caesar was out the pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This had the new interview in the streets. Yeah, what's wrong? They wrote that. That's facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stupid, yo. This this is nuts. Smart, the, smart move, you guys. Yeah, yeah very smart move. You want to show them how to really do it. It's like when the girl takes her man off her Instagram page. Swoop right in. Got him. What happened, yo, long time stranger? <laughs> yo, that's what they're doing to me? Yo, you stupid, yeah. Joe. I get highly offended at that move. What? Oh. The swooping? When that's, no. Sw- when, when she take them off? When she take all the pictures oh. off the Instagram. You get offended. I'm, just, I'm really offended by that move. I hate that move. You don't do that move? Mm. No, I don't do that move. What do you hate about it? Yeah. Like, I was five months with me and send pictures still everywhere before I even noticed this shit was going on there. I said, hey. <laughs> I didn't do that to you. You erased the memories? <laughs> oh, all right. All right, girl. Because <laughs> they don't tell you they're doing that. You just got to yeah, you go there bump day. into it's it. Because it, it, it ain't for you to see. That's not for you. It's, it's for them. Good point. It's for ish. It's for the rest of the niggas. We see. Yeah, but mm. see, my brain go back to all them pictures I didn't want to take. Mm. <laughs> that you forced me to take. Yeah. Uh, which is all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now they, they got to keep them forever. Oh, yeah, but you leave the pictures that I took of you. Mm, that's foul. <laughs> those, those aren't memories? I, I know, but no, if, it's, if, nice. it's, if it's traumatic to anything related to Man, you, that's gotta, that's 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 all them pictures I took where I bodied that shit. No, bro, I was down on the ground trying to get to them. It's not traumatic. That's not it. I'm this letting the is, world know. This is the bat signal. We back outside. When bat, when they cut the bat signal on to let Batman know, hey, swoop in, my nigga, that's mm-hmm. what this is. Then when I got the courage enough to say something about it after it had long passed and meant nothing anymore, I was like, yo, you deleted the pics. <laughs> How'd that go over? <laughs> yeah. I said no. Archive. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> You know that girls are stone cold <laughs> killers. <laughs> <laughs> girls are stone cold. Go wind it up. Wind, wind up the bat. <laughs> she fell. Yo, Wait, this shit's gonna be funny forever now, yo. Yo, stop. That shit is gonna be funny. Bro. You gotta stop. Wait, stop. <laughs> stop. I archived them. Oh yeah, word. All right, that's what you did. Archive right. this. Archive this. Hey yo. <laughs> oh, yo. <shit. laughs> 
I, Queens Flip, do not stand with these fellas. <laughs> Refer to the, uh, uh, the first thing uh, at the pod. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't skip the tagline at the front of the pod. Yeah, at all. I'm going to put uh, it right back there, okay. actually, too. <laughs> I wish I see you out here, man. Stop. Stop that shit. Yeah, it's, I'm proud of you, man. Mm. Thank you, sir. She's a tight. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I hate him. Yo. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this person would tell you the truth if you ask them. Right. A transparent person will show you the truth if you just look. Mm -hmm. If you look, I will show you. Yeah. But a vulnerable person will offer you the truth and you never have to reach for it. That's good. And so wow. you want to be able to be honest, but see, if we're in a marriage, yeah. and I'm just honest with you, that's not enough. No. Because you have to know what to ask me. Right, right, and and so if I don't feel like I'm getting the answers because I never asked, I don't feel safe. Then I'm technically not wrong here. Oh, right, man. right. But like, right. If you, you, spend, look but it's and you see something is wrong with my limp or my eyes right now, mm -hmm. like my eyes. So my eye is low, so you can see. And if you're looking, then I'll tell you, like, you know, this is going on hey, with my eyes. I got points in the face. Right? You're looking, you can see, so I'm showing you. <laughs> yeah. But vulnerability says uh -oh. you don't see what's going on in the internal, and I just want to tell you something that you don't know. Talk to and him. And you wouldn't even know to ask, even if Talk you, to him. even on a good day. So to be vulnerable is to offer, and that is risky. It's so risky because you don't know what's going to come of that. Absolutely. As mm. the person who's being vulnerable, you don't know what mm. comes of it. Is that person going to shame you, ridicule mm. you? Mm. Um, is it is it going to come back in another conversation? Don't cry. You breathing? How are you doing? What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Yo, you doing exercises over here? <laughs> no, I'm just taking it in. Yo, what year was that? 84, 85, yeah, 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 I think it was 84. Yeah, you used to be putting out that. Lose your bed. I know for daddy. I think it was 92. Nah, I, think I, was I don't think I was that old. Cherish the day was not, uh, was not that was in the, the 90s. 90s. No, I think I was early. No ordinary early love was the 90s. You're right. Yeah. I don't think I was that old. I... Spent my whole life doing this. <laughs> I'm well invested. <laughs> uh, so it says 1992. Ooh. Mm. For what? Cherish the day and no ordinary love. Bullshit. Uh, okay. Maybe. She, I see it. She has it. Maybe. Let me see Cox Horses. No. 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 Okay. No, no, so no, no, this. No. Okay. No. But, okay. No, Cherish the Day is not on the same album, album as No Ordinary, no Love. Ordinary Love. That's probably uh, but this project shit. came out in '92. Got you. Go ahead, keep looking though. Go ahead, find, find, find some more. Want, this nigga just got to be right. Go ahead, yeah. I don't. Yo, yeah, you have to. You have to remain teachable. Cherish the Day was '93. No Ordinary Love was '92. Mm. Damn, man, that was '90s. They got if you. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. But <laughs> that sounds nuts. Was '92? Wow. And they weren't on the same well, Erickson. I apologize. That's okay. What are you saying? Talking nothing, Erickson? nothing. She no, said nothing. Erickson. <laughs> what you say there? Zoom in on this nigga. <laughs> oh, that's what you were saying? Oh, no, no, oh that's what you were saying? No, no, no. All right. Yeah, I mean. All right. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we're doing today. Uh -huh. Let's see what we're doing today. Listen, it's not every day that, you know, you got one up on the music motherfucking genius. Uh, you got genius. me. You got, like, me. Oh, you got me. Oh, and by the way, I have a fucking bone to pick with you. Uh -oh. With, with uh -oh. me? Yes. Oh, fucking bone to pick. Is it Look only me? Face, no, no, yes. she said you. She didn't say no, nobody else. What you nobody doing? Nobody else in your shit, you bitch ass nigga. Hey, yo, 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 I, you know what? Y'all are going to stop leaving me alone in the fucking group chat, but I happened to post a picture about this man right here and his motherfucking, I guess billboards in Times Square aren't really a big fucking deal anymore, right? Not they're for not, him. They're not a big deal? Not for him. Okay. Well, I just moved back to New York, so I just, I know, I know, but I just moved back to New York, so this was my first time seeing my friend on a billboard in New York, mm. and I sent that into the group chat, like, Okay, boss man. All right. Fucking crickets. Yo, this nigga about to bite his tongue off. <laughs> hold it in. Hold Yo, it in. Yo, he holding his face off. Hold, hold it in a little longer. I have not been here in almost a decade. So, 
<laughs> yeah, she, she should have got the shades. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she had the real ball. <laughs> but what's the beef? I'm the, crickets chirping, like not even a thanks mail, nothing, not a heart, not a fucking thumbs. Up. Just, I'm in here talking to myself. If, man. <laughs> I know. We saw that. We saw that shit on the on the pass by. Oh, that's Joe. He good. <laughs> Listen, yo, you should have exfoliated me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. You should have thanked her. You should have thanked her. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right, Flip. I should have. So you don't have a beef about none of the other times oh you put something God. in the group chat and oh, everybody look at this. and everybody I, I, I already, and nobody replies. No, already, you don't have a no. beef about that. No, I already said that though. I already. This said was that. your beef. Y'all, nigga, yeah. Don't worry about it. She ain't yeah, talking why about you trying that. Trying to bring us into your shit. So, <laughs> your beef. Yo, Y'all regularly left me alone Jersey in the group City chat. You be putting some bullshit in the group chat. I do. I do. I do. I do. You pull some. Yo, no, that's Queens Joe talking right there. That ain't the Jersey City. Thank like God Jersey I, I'm not in the group oh, chat. I'm not in the group chat anymore. Because you closed it. Yeah, you ended yeah. the fucking group chat. That's your own group chat. You was so bitter as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging on that shit. You were mad as hell. Holy shit. He said, yo, that's not Jersey City Joe. That's Queens Joe. We don't talk. Nobody talks to each other in that group chat. Facts. It's unfortunate. Yeah, when I first But Mel it. keep trying to talk in there. No, she, Both she of just them. throws things in there. Yeah. There's a difference between just throwing some random content yeah. in there and, and then it should, like, it it should throw some crypto yeah. shit in there. It's some like, vaccine right. shit. Yeah, <laughs> some, some doctor, doctor house bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Word, I've seen that back. I said, what the like, I got it. Think. I don't care. That nigga like, want to be on Grey's Anatomy nah, so bad. I was just letting my brothers know mm. that they said you need to start getting tested for. Um, I believe in the higher Aluminum. power. When it's my turn, it's my turn. Yo, I don't care about this is one thing I find a little interesting about Ish, right? Like, he makes jokes on me for believing the news, but he just believes, like, some dude on Instagram. He <laughs> 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 did what he did. Like, what? He believed the Israel lights on 142nd. Fuck out of here, nigga. This dude on Instagram, so I gotta go get like checked for some shit. And what his man told him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, my man told me, well, where, where he from? Around the corner. Nigga, Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after the vaccine, so what were you? Why did you? What did you want to encourage everybody no, to they, get? No, they said that. It, you serious? Or you? Testicular cancer? <clears throat> what? what? Okay, I'm just guessing. What I'm sorry. I'm Yo, guessing. why you? Why you did that? Why you? Why you? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I love you, but stop. Okay. <laughs> Enough. We understand. And why are you pouting? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> what are you going to say? I'm not. I'm gonna respect you. Okay. Salute. <laughs> this guy, yo. Okay, no. go ahead. What'd you learn? No, they're saying that a lot of people are starting to get blood clots, and a lot of people are starting to get um. Young people mm -hmm. are having heart attacks. Mm. What is it, myocardosis? Mm. But my mother got the blood clots after she got the shot. Vaccine. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, yo, if that's something that could literally save somebody, they said it's a certain test that you could go get to see if you're clotting up. So I put it in the chat. So Thank you. All my niggas got test shot. What about the niggas that didn't get the shot? <laughs> We good. Okay. <laughs> you don't think you should maybe still go to the doctor and get some shit? Right <laughs> y'all niggas dying too. Hey yo, <laughs> hey, yo, listen. This nigga Corey don't want to go to the doctor at all. Nigga, thank God he not in the group. Fuck out of here, Corey. Corey just rely on lemons and garlic and push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and turmeric. And turmeric. Turmeric. <laughs> lemons. You think the turmeric is in place of the <laughs> prostate cancer test that he's avoiding? Yeah. It's yo, the oil is you need more oh, than the sea moss. Man. Yeah, you figured, buddy. No. Yo, you, you really gotta go to Doctor Corey, bro. Hey, that that ginger you. tea is not the finger. <laughs> oh my it's not God. the same, jail man. <laughs> go up there and tell, tell him you a man. <laughs> right? All right, all right man. I'm a, I'm a man. I sit there with my pimples. Uh, yeah, nigga, bend over. <laughs> Give yeah. me that glove. Oh yeah, you tough ass. Turn around. Right. Pick pick I, the finger. I ain't been, I ain't oh, which one you want? Huh? Oh, shit. You get, hey, tough ass. You get the choice. <laughs> I'm going picky. I'm going picky. <laughs> I ain't been there either. I ain't gonna hold you. You what? Got Wait, you're Wait, not wearing on. lotion what? and not getting the prostate cancer test? I ain't been there. But why? Because you, you a man? Nah, nah, I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't. Dog, you know how I meant it. Is. I don't the doctor. I, wait, huh? Men don't do the doctor often. Nah, you as talk to your man. I'm as not. ignorant as it sounds, men don't really do the I'm doctor. Not, oh, that's that's that don't clean it up. I'm not as old as y'all, but I'm worried for y'all. Maybe when I get y'all age, I won't do I'll do the same, take the same route, but y'all should go to inspire me to go when I get your age. I ain't an inspiration. Wait, none of y'all? You don't go near? No. But it's just past the age where yeah, something should have clicked at this point. You yeah. got to go now. You got to go for real. Why they have to put the finger? Why they have they have no other like? They can do see, that. See through. You want a wand, nigga? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 Ice. Would that be better for 
you guys? A wand? Like, psychologically, <laughs> psychologically, would it be better to have a wand a up your ass? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> finger. <laughs> Mel. <laughs> a wand? Because you guys are like tripping over a finger up the butt. Nah, like, what about, stop! But, uh, you know. No, I don't. But, 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 <laughs> niggas don't want no wand up their ass. What is it, Harry Potter? You sick of <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, yo, I can't yeah, say the word. No, 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 don't play that yo, shit, yo. Don't play, oh, all right, don't play yo, that no, shit for real. No, yeah, no, take yeah. that shit out your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Joe, play it. Yo, 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 Joe, play it. I think you said nothing. Oh, man. Don't play that shit. Play it. So, no, y'all had a good talk going. Go ahead. But they don't have no new... No, they don't so have they, anything new. They do new. a thing where they could test your... Um, it's a certain chemical or some shit that... Come, don't correct me. I don't know. It's something that is in your blood that will tell don't you. Don't correct me. I don't. Your know. levels are high in whatever thing that is. I don't know. It's white blood, red blood. I don't mm-hmm. know. Something will be high if you. So in order to test cancer. you for prostate cancer, they must put a finger up your asshole to see if your prostate is swollen. They have to feel it to see if it's swollen. That's the first sign. If it swells up, your prostate is a gland. And it's I got. I know. Swollen, and when it swells up, that's the sign of. You having a prostate oh, problem? Fuck. So the only yeah, way they could feel the, if it, the thing you're talking about says a prostate screening epi switch blood test. It says it's 94 percent accurate. That, that. But the, the finger of the ass is 99.9 percent. Corey said I'm never going. Don't be worried about Corey. Corey said nah. I'm gay, <laughs> and I want you to face it <laughs> and say it. <laughs> say it. Stephen is gay. Oh my! Fuck! <laughs> Somebody say it. Stephen is gay, man. <laughs> <laughs> they won't say. They will not say that. <laughs> Yo, look at their faces, sir. <laughs> Stephen is gay. <laughs> look at John Collins. Y'all hear the music? <laughs> look oh. what being gay was like in the seventies, eighties, eighties. Oh my God! Oh shit! Yeah. Ooh, Ish, you have to go get it. No, yeah, for real, it's not gay. You can ask for a female nurse, and then it won't be gay. <laughs> Bring your girl with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, what she gonna do? Make it less comfortable? <laughs> she can talk to you. Make it again. Hold your head. Wait, hold up. You, we can't be this ignorant. I'm not not doing we, that we, because of no gay we shit. We stand. We that. sit. Mm. We sit and stand bedside as they have and bear our children. That's a fact. And. I, I what did, can we do would be the... A finger's way smaller than a baby. Yeah. Bro, it's not anything... <laughs> I'm forced your girl can hold your hand while you get the test. <laughs> she, you, she, she, why y'all think... Oh, man. Right, right, that shit right, funny. Do it. Your girl holding your Oh, you're going to do it? All right. Do it? Go, all right. Oh, shit. Oh, I got to get popped every now and again to make <laughs> sure things are right. <laughs> Did you just say that? No. You it's sick. Like, what what oh, episode Jesus. is this? Yo, when I got shot, the bullet put a small hole in my prostate. They've done it. I've had the test before. So they went and you the were from the side? Ish, you got shot when you was 13, yo. I was 20. We talking about now. And a, I'm just you letting are, you know. You, you, and you got a birthday coming, right? You got shot in the butt? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got shot in my pelvis and I put a hole in my prostate. Oh, shit. Went across my All right, this is a happy show. Come and on. you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but no, no um, I've had the test before. It's just procrastination, really. We need to, we need the colon shit too. Ice, you get your man. I'm not going to say nothing to him. Ice, you're going to take the test one day too, right? Yeah. Got it. All y'all Yo, niggas. why don't y'all go together? <laughs> you need it to a nigga, you 43. Ooh, I Dude. just got it last night. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, come on. Hey, I get that test <laughs> three times a week. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> That's why your shit's swollen. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What in the what game? What the this is fuck going is going on? Can we oh, talk man. about something? You play too this much. Is, you oh, play too stop, much. Joe. We actually stopped doing that before we signed our contract. Then stop playing with me like that. Dude. You gave us your word, you're gonna stop. This nigga, please. Don't tell me I had to <laughs> Mel, don't Still laugh, Mel. Mel about to come in. Maybe I can go with you while you get the test done. I mean, you know. I would love that. Uh, why? Huh? Why? Just, I don't know. I You know the porn she watched? Freak. Nigga? <laughs> I wanna be a, oh, that too. I want to be a source of support. Uh, yeah, right? yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Welcome to episode 644 mm. of the JBP. <laughs> I'm the J and the B. <laughs> That's not a cool. I'm the J and the BP. <laughs> Where the P? Y'all are the oh, P. Okay. Gotcha. I'm the JB. They're the P. Gotcha. And we are here. <laughs> da, 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 da. I just got his dad shirt on. How's everybody doing, man? Y'all good? Yes. yes. Great. Straight. Good. Okay. Now, last part. 
were one of them pods because we pod too much. Y'all asked me if I would let a dude fuck my girl, and no, I wouldn't. But I think the matter has just been taken into darker territory now that the actual tape is released, mm -hmm. and the man came inside of her. Oh wait, is that what happened? Oh, wait. I, 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 didn't, I didn't watch the whole shit. Oh, he cream pied. He came inside of Adam 22's wife. Oh no. I think that's different than. That's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I did want you to do that, <laughs> like you'd wear a condom, buddy, and you'd be out of there at least 15 minutes before it's time to come. All right, job, <laughs> job down here. <laughs> hey, hey, good meeting you. <laughs> if we need you again, we'll task rabbit you. No. Uh, but uh. Go ahead, head on home. Hey. <laughs> All right, honey, what do you want to eat tonight? Huh? The tape is out. Yeah. It's out. It's, it's out. out. Yeah, the tape is out. Adam is trending. He's been trending. I don't normally start pods like this, but I went to sleep a little early, so I woke up in the middle of the night, 1, 2 a.m., figured I'd put his name in the search when I, when I saw the tape was, <laughs> when the tape was released. Man, it's like 9,000 tweets a second. <laughs> oh, shit. He got, he got thank, he thank God Elon fixed that little... Load maximum Twitter thing. Uh, I read about 90,000 tweets. <laughs> yeah, man. They're giving the play by play. So you I wanted to come back in here and tell you guys. You saw it? No. Nah. My answer is no. He beat I saw it on Twitter. He beat that thing up? My answer is no. Man, I just zoomed in. I said, this nigga wild. I just said, wait. <laughs> Nah, they. they no, I, 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 slid, I slid it fast oh, forward, forward. Nah, they start putting screenshots. They yeah, see her biting yeah. the pillow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Biting I, I was rolling up in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? Act, be a lady. Well, <laughs> she was. Excuse me? Nah, if you I'm going to let another dude fuck, fuck your girl, you gonna, you got to bite the pillow and all that. God damn. That nigga was like a horse, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you was looking at? Nah. <laughs> I, I said, still don't know his size. He said he zoomed in. You ain't hear him? I, oh, you did. He did say that, you know? <laughs> that coming in shit is crazy. But wait, I have a question. I'm Shoot. sure you do. <laughs> Mel, I'm a clonk you with this cup. Oh, oh you can't say that. You can't say that. Go ahead. I thought that I thought that I thought the part of the um the allure and like the you know what makes porn porn is that it's Afterwards, it's not coming in. It's like all over. You know what oh, I mean? No, 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 no. They changed change it. Yeah, yeah that changed. Change. What, is you, what is this movie doing? Fire hose. Because that's what I heard. Fire, fire, fire hose. Oh, Mel. Oh, what oh, kind shit. of nigga? Sorry. <laughs> fire hose. What? Outside? Fire. No, the guy. On the outside, right? Yeah. Yeah, like you know. On the face. The cum shot. Face, the eyes, the one. The, the facial. Fucking, yeah, Got you. pearl necklace. Let's use proper porn terms here. The whole. Yeah. Right. I will take this specific segment and try to sell this product <laughs> and partner with to other X, businesses. X, to, to X videos. Ma Magnums. Yeah, I was about to say. Magnums. That's what I want to do. There you go. You there done, you go. done before. Yeah, so back solved. to the fire hose. Right. So I thought that, okay, so I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, no, cream, cream pie is a thing. Yeah, he wouldn't oh. You wouldn't never know none way. of the sex stuff is a thing. I, I don't watch porn. No, you know, listen, we done fucked girls really. from Canada before now. Yeah, okay. they go. And you want us to tell you about <laughs> and them? They get busy. Oh, all this little prissy shit you do <laughs> coming up here to do. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm starting to think you really just be putting on a front for the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just starting to think that? She do. Wait, you when? You just realizing that? I'm really starting to think you just be you, you performing. She for them. can't be the real male. What? Why? Why? Here come the double double dragon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> niggas gonna dragon. make me at least the dragon. <laughs> really, really, really wanna <laughs> at least the dragon. <laughs> niggas, if you hear me say yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, a male voice got a, a male delay. <laughs> like, a, like a nigga echo. <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? <laughs> okay, well, I learned something. I didn't know that cream pie was a thing. Cream pie is a thing. Yeah, gotcha. That's definitely, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we've okay. been ejaculating a woman. Are you a yes. pillow princess? Uh, what is that? What is that? I don't know. A pillow princess, male. You know what that is? Help me. I do. Give me a, what's the fucking definition? Help me. A pillow princess is, yeah, find it so we could be right. Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. A pillow princess is a girl that lays there during sex. Oh, like a dead it. fish? Mm, yes, yeah, but yeah, but no. No. Yeah, yes, but no. Okay. Yes, but no. Someone that relies on their attractiveness. Pillow? Uh, yes. As, as, All right, so this is what comes up as the definition. Like this. A person who wants to receive sexual pleasure but is not 
necessarily interested in giving it. So no. Like you're just laying there just. No. A thousand percent, percent no. Mm. I am enthusiastic. Yes, I am. Big I'm, man. Yes. Love the word choice. No. I am yeah. very enthusiastic. Oh, the echo left. <laughs> That's so strange. Yeah. Did we change the room? <laughs> the, ac- the shadow. The acoustics got so much. <laughs> More feminine. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Shit is crazy. <laughs> Engineer of the year right there. <laughs> Man. Got a good old Parks. It's, it's Parks. Is it, is it, is it Parks? Sound, is it Soundboard Parks? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, uh, where, where would y'all like to begin? Come on. I, I thought we're not unpacking. <laughs> <laughs> unpacking what? The, the, the report packing. review. The packing. Oh. What is there to unpack about this? Well, no, he was before the tape it. got released, all of us were tired of talking about it. True. true I yeah, only true. brought it up because that coming inside shit made it a different conversation. What's worse, though? The facial or the come inside? He's damned if you do, damned if you don't. True. Facial? Nigga, you are coming in the condom. You're coming on your in your car on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yeah. You're not coming nowhere around here. <laughs> you belly button? Huh? Nah, belly button you, better some, you better do some old school shit, pull out and no, shoot the other side. None of your, <laughs> if, yeah. if, just hypothetically, if a person did decide to have somebody hump their girl uh-huh. or their wife. You expect him to not come? Not he's, in my coming, he's coming out, outside. Condom. He's coming outside. It's porn. Yeah, it's no, it ain't. No, no. We, we, <laughs> that's my stop, that's my love. <laughs> that's my queen and my everything. My, my cinnamon apple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my stinky poo. Nigga, my girl. She not look. My get off of my stink sting. <laughs> well, obviously, no. Like, yo, hey, that happened. Pet names is out of the equation from God. this point on, buddy. Well, there'll just be a different kind of pet name. What? Yeah, you nasty motherfucker. Poor, poor slut. Bucket. Come oh, bucket. Man. Fuck out of here. Definitely a come bucket. bucket. Yeah, dude name is Bucket. Uh, crazy. Oh, shit. Dude name is Bucket. CB. <laughs> bucket. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, I don't have anything to unpack about this. I just you broke. Right. Oh, I like, got it. Wow. Yeah. Unless you all have. No. I'm good. So the general consensus uh, in all the it. tweets that you saw were that every guy was aghast that he let her come in her. No, the guys were aghast at a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were aghast long before, before that. Before the video came out, n- niggas was aghast. Aghast is the word. Aghast. Yeah. Yeah. Aghast. Mm. <laughs> I wonder how much money that's going to generate. They marketing it. Yeah, no question. They on, they on a press run. They marketing that shit like you. How much money does it have to bring in to be worth it? <clears throat> For who? Indecent proposal? For who? Both of them. For him more, I guess, because she had sex. So, I mean, that's kind of a win-win situation, I guess. How much you love her? Yo, y'all got, just going, got married. Y'all going somewhere else. Got a kid. Oh, I forgot about the kid part. Uh-huh. Wow. I'm, kid, I'm making a citizen's arrest. <laughs> I'm arresting him. Wow. I didn't know they had a kid. I'm going to walk him out. I got a little brother sister coming. Get your coat, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit Pox. <laughs> That's what happens when you come inside the vagina. Right? Oh, I, 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 I thought I was well, stop. I learned if recently doing, if you're doing time, that, you got to assume that they're on yeah. something. Yeah. 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 I, learned, I, I learned recently there's a certain time women ovulate, yes. too, right? Yes. Wait, you just learned that? You learned that recently. I thought. No, for real. Listen, hold on. I thought you could just nothing something to get him pregnant. Hold on. Holy shit. I did. I don't give a fuck. I, hey, young, what young do you need biology yo, class? I've young been people married, out here. I've been married since I was 21 years old. <laughs> young I people. just thought when you shoot the club up, and, and my wife got pregnant by me before I got married to her. Young I people. thought you just shoot the club up and she get pregnant at any time, any place, anywhere. Young people. I didn't know there was a schedule of, yo, these last two days of the month or this two days is when you see the high yellow. Like, get off. I don't know about that shit. High like, yellow. Like, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not, the child left behind. People. <laughs> yeah, young people. Y'all Stay niggas act like y'all know about that. They didn't the have charts when you was growing up, stupid niggas. They didn't class. have charts, you Stay dumb niggas. in school. They didn't have charts. Hey, hey. <laughs> so how you gonna know? Because you like to talk to a woman all fucking night. That's why you know her shit. You're right. When, you, when you're I'm ovulating, yeah. you sick fuck. Yes. No, I'm trying to... Get, no, get in you, you ain't got to. You could talk to her, know when her shit is on, and just start keeping track. I've kept track of a Nigga. girl shit without her really? telling. Really, that's invasive. What? No, no it's, it's not, not that's invasive. No. What? You yes. keep track of a woman's psycho, niggas? Yes. You, you sick, stupid niggas. 
That sounds sick. Are you stupid. crazy? I got the tracker on my phone. <laughs> the app. It's an app. It's an app. Nigga. And in my brain, muscle memory. I don't have in. the app. But <laughs> you got the app too. I don't, play. I don't have the app, but it's I actually, it's not a bad idea. Yo, you, <laughs> nah, you got the app. It's the app and this shit. Don't. You don't like to get away with nothing, do you? <laughs> oh, shit. I just found out that women That's ovulate. Crazy, yo. No, I, I, I knew they, yo, but this is why men can't be vulnerable. What's wrong with him sharing that with no, his I brothers knew, and sisters? Wait, hold on. I know they ovulate, but you know what I'm talking about. Hey, dog. It's a certain yeah, yeah. time of the month where they're likely to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Like ovulation, ovulation. ovulation. Yeah, yeah. And we don't need 15 minutes for this. Okay. I promise you, they got it out there. But oh, I think man. every guy went through that phase, probably True. just a little earlier. Like yeah, seven, like, no, but. 12. I thought you could just come and get somebody pregnant. I didn't learn it at 12 or it's 17. It's a joke, but in your 20s. Yeah. Nigga, I'm 35, nigga. Fuck you, niggas. <laughs> I'm about to be 36 in, in next week, uh, 29th, so. It's all right. It's a learning curve. It is. It's, it's cool. There's a learning curve in my man. Yo, Mel, hold me down. What else y'all want to talk about? Mm. New, new music. Wait till you learn what else the, the vagina does. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh shit! Why you? Got, it's why a you, powerful why little. Did, why do you do that? That little shit can do things. Why do you do that, Joe? All right, what? You about to switch? You had to get no, your no, little no, shot. No. Let's switch. Let's go. I'm phony. <laughs> I'm phony. <laughs> hey, look, that That's why. laughing at me. I'm, not, I'm, I'm glad you know. Yeah. I'm not even laughing at you. I'm glad you know. Now that you know. Better late than never. You know, this half the battle. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That yeah. answered my question that I tried to ask the other day. <laughs> no, it's gonna be say it. no, say no, it. no, I love that you. Say it, no, I love that he knew and no, because he should snuff me. No, because he should snuff me say if it, I no, say, say it. No, say it. No, because you should snuff me no, if say I say it. For real? Yeah, say it. Oh. What was the question? Which, which bus did you ride? <laughs> Why the, no, no. Why the fuck? Would somebody want four kids? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Yo. Who the fuck has three kids and says, I want a few more of these shits running around? This guy is nuts. Kids? Oh, my God. Yo, flip, they right? don't give a fuck about us. This guy, yo. What's wrong with you? <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Oh, he man. had an attitude when niggas brought their kids and kids to work. That's what it is, I'm nigga. I'm that shit in real time. Yo, dog, pass me that. No! Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, huh? <laughs> I made you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I ain't about to argue with you, dog. Oh, shit. All right, what else needs our, get it. our <laughs> intellect? <laughs> Music, ice? Oh, um, only thing that dropped for me was Vaughn album. Okay, how was it? How was it? It's a posthumous album. I had low expectations, and it was better than I expected. Really? Yeah. I don't. Certain um, artists when they when like this is a lot of what well, we know is old records, but you have two type of posthumous albums. It's the kind where we had records done and just in the vault, and the kind where we had some verses here and there, and we went and kind of put it together. Strung yeah, them together. Just yeah. threw, threw mm -hmm. the shit together. Mm -hmm. This was the first. Okay. So like a lot of these records, he premiered on. I mean, he was like teasing on Instagram years ago and stuff like that. So it was good to get a bunch of these. I'm actually going to play one as a sleeper today. But um, overall, I like this posthumous album better than the last one because it's the second one now. Mm. I do think with <clears throat> excuse me, I do think with these uh, with these songs right here coming out that the vault should be about dry. So I'm, I'm interested to see. But uh, overall, I mean, it's, a, it's what I would expect from him. Sure. And I think they was using. AI or some shit to do these videos because I, I I doubt they shot these videos three years ago. Mm. So you get eight out of ten? No, I'm not rating it yet. Album just came out this morning. Got it. Mm. I'm done with that. Okay. It, I got to sit with music now. How many more listened? Uh, oh, this will be played. That's Iceman. Got yeah, this, it. This will okay. be played. Put it that way. It's not one of them albums where I heard it and I'm like, this just ain't do it for me. Mm. Th this will be played for me. So I like the album, but I'm not giving it a rating yet. Um, I didn't see much else that dropped. It's pretty Davey Sharp we Project. I didn't listen to it all the way through yet. Um, mm -hmm. It's like it's 25 good, songs, right? Yeah, it's a, lot, it's a lot. Well, there's a lot of skits, though, too. Oh, okay. But it sounded solid from what I heard. I don't have no deep dive either. It was quite weak for music, though, overall. I didn't find any singles. Not, like, it was, it was quiet. I saw, I didn't hear the record, but I saw something that was interesting that stu stood out to me. It's, it's a City Girls record, but it says City Girls in JT. That's huh. how the record is... 
that's what the, the, the artist it says City Girls and JT hmm and that I didn't hear the song but just seeing that looked cause JT is one of the City Girls right so I don't understand what that came about oh shit huh <laughs> maybe maybe she's doing a solo album or something I don't know we'll watch it I'm just saying that that was interesting. It is interesting. I don't know, you know, that I'm not their demo. Maybe the fans might know more, but it was just interesting to see City Girls and JT on one song. That's all I got for music. Um, I don't know if y'all people did anything. What we got here? Talk to me. What we got? It's Justin. Oh, shit. Timberlake. Let's go, JT. Get your lick back, man. You got to put, you got to. Joe, I know that ain't your man. But that's not true. Joe loves JT. He just hated that Man in the Woods shit. Oh, okay. Joe, that fucking 2020 shit, he wore that shit out on tour. Um, um, it might not be a... Let me not go that far, but I'm a pretty huge Justin Timberlake fan. But I got the, I got the music. I know what, what you're capable of. So when you go and start acting like rural white again, then I feel like you tricked us by collaborating with our greatest black musicians giving us these great, amazing bodies of work and then alienating all that shit and going in the woods to cut lumber with <laughs> plaid shirts on. I mean, I feel you. The only the thing music. I ever had with that review of yours is that he still did it with Pharrell and Timbaland. I, I don't get So what, he was going to cut the wood with a, a, a beeper and some well, chains? What, what that mean? He could have you know got Luther Vandross and Marvin Gaye if that's the product they came, came out with. I didn't like the album either, by the way. It's just you didn't like, like anything just saying, on it? I don't think so. You cannot follow the 2020 experience both two times. Oh, yeah, that I just don't like the framing when you say, "Yo, you worked with all these great black creators," and then went and did a country album when the, he did a country album with the black creators that he's been creating with. Like, I, but I don't care about that if it's whack. And the I, same applies. And, and the same applies for black people, by the way. The K. Michelle country album, I'm sure, it was near and dear and hurt to our heart. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the slaps. Now, if you just kept it strictly about the. Country, like the album's not good I'm with you 100% yeah, It's but just they, when you frame it The other way to me it's, yeah, It comes off weird Yeah but when you market it that way I have to frame it that way mm, Interesting But it's a different market So what? When you, when you market it that way After marketing it this way The marketing don't say Hey I'm still working With the same amazing people And the music didn't say that So if the marketing don't say it And the music don't say it And you don't look like it you, ain't you, said even, he, you said he did work with the same. Yeah, the same mm -hmm. as no, I said if the marketing don't look like it and the music don't sound like it. But that's the business, Joe. Oh, please. please. Like, I called that shit out. Look, if, 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 if when you do humans, right, some of the guests, I don't know what to call them, but the people that you interview for humans, they're going to resonate with different demos. So Mike Tyson um, interview is going to resonate with us. The other guy um, from... Utah, it's going to resonate with somebody else. So if I'm the label and Justin Timberlake puts out a country music album, I'm going to market that album in a certain way. I'm I not, understand what you you're what saying. saying? I just totally with disagree with the ideology. Oh, okay. There's a Hove clip in my phone somewhere. Yo, I'm me everywhere I go. True. Every room I walk I'm into, cowering, I'm my voice is low. my voice. It yeah. don't sound low or high. Yeah. I'm the same wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Now, you got to go different places to pick up these different markets that you're talking about. True. I have a problem with Hove wears different the people shit that if I if I too. if I come in here in a country outfit and some boots and some shit and sit here and do a pod for the next year to try to expand the fan base, y'all are gonna look at me away. Yeah, if I come in here and mm -hmm. and wear something that I wouldn't wear to try to get the LGBTQA plus community, it's gonna look away. I'm sure. gonna say I'm trying to expand my business. Mm -hmm. I'm marketing. But it's not genuine. That's my point. But you could be multifaceted. I don't know the gentleman personally. Exactly. Well, me neither. And so you don't. You run this. You run the Joe Bond podcast. It's yours. You not in control. You are in control of everything that's being put out to the public. Well, the public. that's he my might other not run that. That is my other broad problem with the music business. Oh, These niggas true. don't run themselves. Sure. Mm. Oh yeah, we, that's true. We know. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. My problems are multi layered with the music business, and we and let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, actors and writers, mm. gang. True. Let's talk gang about it right know. here. They're not playing at no. all. They're not playing. They're, They're not playing. Together. The actors and writers have come together for the first time since the '60s. Yeah, '60s. Like '63 years. To protest and strike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the first time that the actors, yeah, pull up whatever facts y'all need to pull up. This is the first time the actors have done this since 1980, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. 
And what they are essentially fighting over and for is the structure of how they're paid. Yes. They're, they're fighting mainly over how a stream is broken down and the future of AI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are more more much many more points that they're arguing over mm -hmm. but they seem very 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 far apart two over major. these two points major yeah. points yeah uh the biggest thing for the writers is that um well I, I guess there's a lot of big things but one big thing from the writers is that typically a show would last most of the year and they would get paid through most of the year now they do writing rooms and they're writing for five days and then you're on your own to go find more work it's not a sustainable living. Whereas before you might make 200 grand a year writing mm -hmm. shows. Now you make 10, 15 grand and grand go figure that shit out the rest of the year. But I heard it was something pertaining to um, like when, when shows go in syndication and shit like that. I think it's a residual. That, that's it's structure. all of it too, yeah. Right? Yeah. And now that we have Netflix or whatever um, streaming, streaming service, mm -hmm. yeah. it's not necessarily counted as syndication right. because you can watch it whenever the fuck you feel exactly. like. True. Like, mm -hmm. you don't have to run on Channel 7 at 12 o'clock in the daytime and you get a syndicated check. Mm -hmm. it's, you could go watch it whenever. So they broke the, 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 the pay structure down. And I streaming, streaming digital and AI have changed the business model so rapidly that it's it hasn't caught up with Contractually. Contractually, exactly. So this is basically like the equivalent of like a collective bargaining agreement kind of thing, you know? Hasn't caught up is a crutch. Yeah. This is by design. Of the course. Like it is around Until y'all bring it up, fields. we ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, it's just by design. And mm -hmm. it gives They're us not a, trying to catch up. True, they give us out. It gives us, oh, we ain't breathing. I, like I said, I read an article. They said that some of the people from the Netflix show were making like $20. And from SAG after. Yeah. Uh -huh. like the residuals. Yeah. Oh, where's oh, the article? We'll check that out. Sure. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, also, so some of the things that um, uh, SAG AFTRA members won't be able to do as a result of striking is tours, mm -hmm. personal appearances, interviews, conventions, fan expos, festivals. Shut it down. For your consideration mm -hmm. events, panels, premieres, screenings, award shows, junkets, podcast appearances, mm -hmm. social media um, in relation to. Complete blackout. Complete blackout. That is. Huge. I also read that if um, like you're a, a young up and coming actor or writer and you break the strike, you will never be allowed in the union. Wow. I'm not mad at that. Either. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm you not know, mad at that. I'm not mad at that. And this doesn't apply to Broadway and uh, soap opera, daytime soap opera, because they act under a different contract. Sure. Oh, okay. Because the soap operas, they don't get um, it's daily. Mm. Like they don't get any. Um, I, I, I forgot what they call it. No, no, no. no. Um, like when you get time off, because I heard them speaking, they said they don't get that. Like mm. they work literally around the, the clock mm. all year long. So they don't get hiatuses and shit. It's just always on go for them. So they don't really get I'm just it. thinking about the trickle down effect for all of the people that this, that this does affect. Like mm -hmm. people that make 100 grand, people that make 90 grand. Yeah. Yeah, right, shit, people make thirty 60. just got out of college or mm -hmm. whatever and mm -hmm. got their first job being a, a PA on a on a scene on a, on a set. Makeup or people, artists, or people, or people, makeup people artists, that are wardrobe, that are lifers, you know, gaffers, craft, craft yeah. services, yeah. Yeah. lighting, like, this is all, all the way down the line. Cameramen. Yeah, um, Bob Iger. He there's a quote. He said um, that's not aging. It's not going to age well. It's very disturbing to me. There's a level of expectation that they have that is just not realistic. This is when he was speaking with CNBC. He shared his thoughts on, on the demands of both the unions. And he said this will have a very, very damaging effect on the whole business. It will affect the economy in different region, regions, even because of the sheer size of the business. And it's he's saying it's a shame. And this is coming from a CEO who Disney? makes how many millions and millions of dollars? Mm -hmm. Like, the people making these kinds of comments are just are really unbelievably tone deaf. Yeah. To can, we, can we can somebody find a clip of uh, the nanny talking? Fran Dresser? Yeah. I, I, I think that um, in, in your CEO conversation, it's similar to politics or anything else. Like you all the way up here, you really can't relate to the people down here. You don't understand. Or you choose not to. But this groundbreaking AI proposal that they gave us yesterday, and that groundbreaking AI proposal, they proposed that our background performers should be able to be scanned, get paid for one day's pay, 
and their company should own that scan, their image, their likeness, and should be able to use it for the rest of eternity in any project they want with no consent and no compensation. So if you think that's a groundbreaking proposal, I suggest you think again. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane, yo. Yeah. It's slavery. Mm, that, it, it's standard. What is? That. That's not standard. That's, they're saying that's what they're proposing to become the standard. Mm -hmm. They're proposing that because it's standard for them. And it will soon, that standard will soon be expressed more and more. Soon, some of these little sites and apps, the new term and condition is going to include language. Mm -hmm. Some of it already does. I'm about to say, some of this shit is that happening. That says, we can do whatever the fuck we want with, with your, your photos, likeness for free, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. With your photos. So th them expressing that is just, what I'm saying is standard. This is how they feel across the board, and people that have negotiated with companies like this, you already know. Mm. We've seen people run and, and jump on these uh, AI face tuning and oh, all that shit. The they app, they're doing the same they shit. True. They they're taking your face, owning your picture, your whatever you, information you give them, and going to do God knows what with it. You'll find yourself on another site somewhere like, oh, oh what the fuck? But, it, yeah. but, from a, it to but from a performance standpoint, it's a different thing because if I go perform at the BET Awards... Or if I go perform here, if I go perform there, one time, I get paid for that one time. You He's, now control every dancer yeah. that was on this stage and can recreate shit for eternity without paying a dancer it, ever again. I mean, they did it back in the days, though, right? With, with certain models, like, from different countries. They would own their pictures or likeness, and they will put it in different magazines, and the fucking lady somewhere in Russia somewhere. Well, yeah. But you that's a saying? photo. Like, if you're a performer... But they didn't, okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a little different. It is a little different. It's, it's different it. to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you got paid for the photo. Like, Tyra Banks, if she does the Sports Illustrated issue, she got paid a whopping amount of money. Sports Illustrated owns those photos. True, but not, we're talking about a little, not, not. No, Flip's talking about, like, for instance, a common usage now is like when people sell t-shirts, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The pick, they might model, have a model wearing the t-shirt that never wore a t-shirt in their entire life. Gotcha. They just like the stock gotcha, gotcha, photo gotcha, gotcha, and gotcha. put different shirts yeah. on it. I, I think that to Which me Which is different Because that's a still And gotcha. we're talking no, about I, Performance I, I, Shit we've been seeing This shit forever man How, Them girls on the fly One at that club you <laughs> right. You right. Am I, am I lying? You not lying. She wasn't at that damn club. Maurice wasn't there, you stupid nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. Was that Ford club, never bro. been a club in This was that epic lounge. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, I think that um, not being attended. What regards what? Uh, no, I think that that's funny. I I just don't think the matter is funny. So it's tough. It's for not me funny. Like, that, no, no, that's no, no, that's just, funny. That was funny. But it's not funny. I think that um, what? I, step on our it, joke. It, 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 no, I'm not. That's why I shut the fuck up. But and, the topic is triggering for me. I'm just letting you. And go. I think I that um, the actors and because you said this hasn't happened since the '60s, where the actors and the writers combine. Mm -hmm. I think that the the actors see that if they do this to the writers, they'll do. To we're you. next. Yeah. What they gonna do to us? Yeah, we're next. So we need to make a unified stand now because if y'all let this pop off, it's gonna pop off. With some us. of them. With some of them. Okay, man, well, I was gonna say my, one of the main reasons why SAG joined WGA is because of the comment that was made, like. We'll just wait them out until yeah, they're fucking was broken, up. homeless. And SAG was like, "A word? No. And, watch, and watch that, this. Watch ex this is what solidarity looks typically like." Typically, the thinking across the board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them was responding saying, "Hey, we broke now." Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I forget the gentleman's name. I was trying to find his name, but um, he he played on uh, Insecure. He played the dude that um the the barber that mm -hmm. Issa was dating, and he posted on Instagram. He was like, "Yo, I cashed fifty Residual checks. Five zero. Five zero. Mm -hmm. The total was eighty six dollars. Oh, That's shit. insane. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. It's not crazy. That's what's happening in the streaming era. Yeah. Yeah. True. And it's what's been happening in the streaming era. That's it's still it's, it's still what? You niggas stream it's just, every day. Facts. We stream every day. True. It, yeah. It's what? True. But think about if 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 it carries over into actors. And yo, they have the ability now that once you perform one scene, they now own your image and your likeness. They can put you on other movies. They could, because now they got the ability to they make can you manipulate act. that shit yeah, however yeah, they want. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Say whatever you want, do whatever you want. They they can. They can put Joe Budden on there with some muscles. They could make Joe Budden five seven. They well, you already five seven, but you get what I'm saying. They can make you do whatever you want to do, and they and they don't gotta pay you shit. 
I'm 6'4 with Mama Queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 6'3. My Bottegas, the platform Bottegas give me like 6'4. <laughs> Took them shits off at the middle of the kickback. Bitches were looking at me. Different. <laughs> Different. It's a little fella. Oh, shit. Hey, little man. Yeah, yeah that's funny, crazy. son. But nah, that's, that's crazy, dog. Yeah, like, that's is. some next scary level shit. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Bro. I hate you. I hate all y'all. Why? Because they put you on the Apple Music, and the first thing you said was, Oh, I get all these songs. <laughs> I was the last nigga in the world on Apple I'm still oh, ain't on, on Apple on, Music doing that. I know. Shit. Oh, I, know I, 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 I get what you're saying, though. I, I get it. I, you know, I get it. Man, it's tough. They pay listen, one license and feature this company over here. And, but, let me, yeah. but I'm not really mad. I'm not really mad. I mean, it's triggering for me. It's tough because I'm overly passionate about music and how we're paid. Uh, as I age and get older and get more information, uh, I go back and look at some of the horrible contracts that I signed in music. Mm. Now that I have more understanding, I look at what that stuff means, uh, when, when and where I was relinqu relinquishing ownership rights, residual rights, mm -hmm. how we're paid. Like, none, it's not right. Like, we, I come in here and then think by the grace of God, I'm doing well and I'm doing great, but I'm doing well and I'm doing great from a new a new thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have 17 years in music and I'm only paid from, no, pump it up still, pumping it up. Mm -hmm. But uh, my last album is what I'm paid five figures from. That should bother, that bothers me. It bothers me when I look out there and the people that and like inspire me like the people that really put their foot into this music shit, they didn't get their money from this shit. Mm -hmm. Like, that's odd. Like, damn, none of us? Like, all right, the one hit one that they maybe didn't get it, but the nigga that built that didn't get it? Wait, the nigga that built made that didn't get it? <laughs> Wait, no, nah, this shit is fucked up all around the board. And I only stopped coming in here screaming, hey, 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 thinking everybody is as passionate as me because... You start to realize, oh no, y'all are here voluntarily. True. True. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are signing these papers and giving up rights for the little bit of money or a lot of bit of money that's being dangled in front of your face. Mm -hmm. And in right. music, just like in the in the actors, like in the actors and the writers shit that's going on, there's so many just regular people that make the business run. Mm -hmm. And you need some of them top dogs to jump in the fight. Mm -hmm. You need a few of them. Without but they have a union that has over 3,000, 5,000, however many people that they have now combined to say, hey, no, you're not going to treat us like this. In music, we're all our own brands. Mm -hmm. yep. Everybody is an independent contractor for the most part. Mm -hmm. So you leveraging you. And they not looking at you like you somebody. Mm -hmm. It's just much easier to create music at a reasonable professional level than it is TV or film. Mm. You could do that shit in your bedroom, literally. We've seen it. I mean... I today, disagree today, with that. I disagree too, today. Shit. I disagree with that. Bro, I've, we've actually seen them, some certain films won awards and shit and was made on our fucking iPhone. Mm. Like, yeah, but that's not, not, that's like, not the That's norm. just not I'm the just standard not the norm, not like the norm, it is in music. But, but, but because we stepped on our product don't mean that we didn't start at the same spot. Music, the quality is now, I'm with you. The quality is, ah, niggas don't even give a fuck. But that's because they made it that way. Mm -hmm. Like, they made it, hey, low overhead, you make that in your room. We don't have to pay for this, and we can make the profit, We pro the same profit that we make. That's the fucking fight. That's the fight. Like, if we okay with that, that is where the fight lies. The, the actor people are saying, yo, now that there's Netflix and... All these Hulu, services, all these, yeah. services, all of, yeah. these bodies of work sit in one place for an eternity, which mm -hmm. means we've lost, like we already stated, DVD, VCR, yep. residual, Advertising. movie, yeah. Yeah. ad. We've lost too much, and we're not getting paid from this, and this is where the business is going. So we have to fix the breakdown of a stream. Mm -hmm. Who's getting what from a stream? Mm -hmm. Same thing need to happen in music. Facts. And we've talked about that with the way that they distribute music from, I think, Spotify and Apple specifically. I think Tidal does per 
artist as opposed like, I hate to rehash it, but the way most people get paid, it's it's um, prorated basically. Like Drake gets a million views, a billion views, and we get a billion, three billion uh, uh, people listening on our app. Most of the money is going to Drake. Whereas gotcha. if someone signs up and only listens to Joe Budden, he's going to get a sliver of the percentage. Whereas that person's ten ninety nine should go to Joe Budden. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, we understand. Yeah. And that's how it should go across the board with streaming, but it doesn't. So it just bothers me that in music, everybody is all right with whatever bag they're making, however they're you making it. Y'all going out to perform. Hey, it's rolling loud. So, so let me ask you a question. You got your festival money. Let me ask you a question. Um, do you think it's circumstance, it's circumstantial, meaning like, do you blame the artists and the people as well, or do you feel like, because... You know, we hear the stories for years that some of these companies are taking advantage of people that don't have anything, right? Mm -hmm. And they dangle this in their face and they have no choice. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like... I don't the, feel like that. The big, I don't feel like that because but wait, wait, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Oh. But what, what, do they, what if they don't have the, the means of getting a, a great lawyer? What if they don't have the means of so, or somebody teaching them, like, well, this little fucking shit that's written in the contract... You basically signing your life over. Some people are in a fucked up position in life where they have no choice but to take the pro rate or the mm. upfront money, which they don't think long term. What, yeah. what do you say to that, Joe? Have at it. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I say I say have at it. Mm. It starts at information. Got it. You can't make. You can't even assume that you're making the best decision for yourself if you don't have all the information. And we don't have all the information. Mm. So, yes, the person that has to strap his belt and this is no, there's no other way to do this, I have to get this from this, great. Hey, everybody here gets fucked at entry. Mm -hmm. We talking about the people that's out at the next, at the next step of got that. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all got in, got y'alls, and that's it now, so we're just going to continue down that. We talking about the people that have amended the contract and amended the contract and amended the contract. We talking about these. That's who I'm talking about anyway. It's an assault against like the middle class basically across the board in this country and probably the world. True. but Because in music, niggas say the pushback we always get is, oh, but how niggas going to eat? And if that's the pushback, then we'll, we'll never be prepared to fight this war. It's mad at them not eating right now. Can't pay their rent. Hmm. Can't buy groceries. It's mad at them leaning on community, hmm. leaning on family and friends. Hey, we got to hold hands right now. Hmm. They don't have a choice, though. They This is the choice is what I'm saying. They know. They do have a choice. They could take their fucking ass back to work and everything stays the same. This is the, this is the tough part of the choice they made. They made the choice. This is what you're presenting? No. For the future of our business, no, we're not doing that. We take the stand today. That is the choice. No, that you're right. But I'm saying that I think the alternative that they are given, like the two choices are, yo, look, stand and fight now mm -hmm. or you will die. And I think that now their back is to the wall where they have no choice but to stand and fight. I think the alternative that they are being given is one where in four, five, six, seven, maybe not even that with the advancement and how quickly AI is uh, taking off, mm -hmm. you won't be around seven years from now. These writers, AI is writing books for niggas in five days. AI is writing complete books in five days. There's but, also some lawsuits wait, coming in that direction but, too, but, by the way. But, mm -hmm. but I want to be clear because there's a lot of nuance here. I'm certain that in their bouts, they're not arguing for all the against all the capabilities of AI. Mm -hmm. So I'm certain that AI, where it's helpful, for uh, they would like it to be helpful. But there are instances. That's what? the problem. That's, no, that's not a problem. To me, that's the problem because what problem. you're doing is you're leveraging convenience, and when you leverage convenience, it's a fine, fine line between that. Like, yo, if you're a writer, right, mm -hmm. and you you let AI do the work for you. Mm -hmm. You being lazy and you letting AI get it off because it's convenient. Uh -huh. Now when the higher ups see how convenient it is and now it makes you expendable, then you tight. Well, there's all, the, the tricky thing with AI too, and we've talked about this a million times, so I don't want to beat it to death. There's actually a lawsuit now. I think Sarah Silverman is the biggest person that's on it, but they'll probably see more like that. The AI that exists now, mm -hmm. chat GPT in specific, is not really AI. What it's doing is just combing the web for what other people have already written. So everything, mm -hmm. it's like sampling. They're basically uh, sampling without clearing anything. Or plagiarizing, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, gotcha. they're sampling without clearing anything. Gotcha. Like, that's not, that's not it. Like, you can't just take people's shit and remix it and put it out and call it what it is. No. 
people need to be paid and credited for that. I agree with that. I didn't know that that's what it was doing. That's what, yeah. Some of that, how it's operating Because my man and him be writing the books, and he, he and I was like, yo, I need... Wait, who? <laughs> I'm not even putting his name out there, but we know him. <laughs> but my man be writing books, and he was like, ish, I wrote the book in four, five days. AI did it. And you just go in and you tweak what you like, boom, 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 and you put it out there. You got a damn near published book in two, three weeks that you did all yourself. They're fighting to not be replaced in certain aspects by technology. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're not saying we're not down to work with in some areas. Yeah. But um, I mean, shout to them. Good luck to them. I think it's really, really scary. And if I was them, I would be petrified. No bullshit. Like I got an off mic story, I'll tell. But. Listen, I don't. Most of the missions I go into, they go. I go into as the underdog and I know it's going to be an uphill battle. But I know if I don't fight this fight, then the people coming behind me are going to deal with this same stuff. So I just fight it. And that's, yeah. what, that's what I think happens in the music industry. I'm not in the industry, but I think what happens is people... You are in the industry. I just read your article this morning. You just shared <laughs> tips about... Oh. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think that... Um, I think that... Uh, guys <laughs> Nigga don't want to be no industry. Yo, what dog. industries are you in? <laughs> Real estate and construction. Bitch ass nigga. Yo, um, <laughs> I, think, I think that um, in the music industry, people pivot. Once they make some money, they pivot. They mm-hmm. don't necessarily stay knee deep in the music industry. So I think that when you're an actor, it's actors that have been actors for 40 and 50 and 60 years. So because they are still there, mm-hmm. they are fighting to make that circumstance better. Like if Jay-Z, Puff, um, Rihanna, you know, all of these people stayed in the music industry, they would be fighting toward a union or toward correcting and fixing the music industry the same way the actors have done. Mm. Because again, that's their lifelong um, career. Motherfuckers been, at, Lawrence Fishburne was in Cornbread Earl and Me, my nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As a kid. Jay Z has a, a union for uh, artists. Yeah, I heard. It's called Rock Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here, you protect. If you go over there, you protect. It. Then we got you. I got you. Well, for the people that's not over there, good luck. That don't have access to a Rock Nation or Attorney. a Love Records or a Tyler Perry or any of the. There's only but so many Shonda, uh, Shondas and fucking Issa Rae's running around here. True. There's only mm-hmm. it's only but five to ten maybe black people that had that. There's only but so many Will Packers running around. They have mm-hmm. that green green light green lit power. And they have, and this is going on now in July. We are officially half, damn near halfway through the summer. We're halfway through the summer. That fall slate, that winter slate, That's, y'all, y'all think it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing to watch now. Hang it up. Yeah, word. Oh my God. But it's also, gonna be a lot of slow singing and flower brings. It's gonna be a lot of fucking. Bro, they show. Thank God we know how, where they ovulate. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be doing a lot of fucking. Bro, Better showed, find something to do. They showed, um, I believe it was ABC. And this was when the, the strike first happened. They show ABC's projected fall schedule. It's all game shows and reality shows. Dog, I'm watching the news. That's it. I'm watching the news this morning. They said three people canceled on them this morning. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. Hmm? They was yeah, tight. They can't make personal We can't make no appearances. Nothing. The, listen. Shit is affected t- out TIFF here. TIFF is coming up. Toronto International Film Festival. Telluride. Like, the, uh, major Venice Film Festival. All done. All the panels are finished. Done. All that, These are massive. They said Comic Con. Yeah. Forget about it. Wow. All oh, yeah. the conventions. Sundance. Done. Forget about that's it. That's if it goes that long. But yeah, that's compromised. Even well, just the, pl- the planning. They, they project. The yeah, you have yeah. to plan that right. out on these things. And they yeah. project this to last a few months. Yeah. If the actors just got in and they mm-hmm. saying they mm-hmm. are worlds apart, Damn, and, we, uh, and the actors have a little bit more money to with with that's, withstand it. No, not that's, all. Not all. You're right. They said the right. actors walked out of um, Christopher Nolan's new movie, um, Oppenheimer. Yeah. The premiere was Thursday, and the actors walked out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. At walked off premiere. red carpets. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, yep. all, it's a wrap. The minute right. it happened, everybody yeah. everybody moved. Mobilized now. I mean, there's 150,000 people, you know, who are part of SAG. You know, so it's. These aren't small numbers. Mm-hmm. They are grinding this industry to a halt to show solidarity. I like it. I yeah. like it. I definitely yeah. like So it. hopefully it doesn't last that long, it. but they're at an impasse for sure right I now. I like it, and all of y'all in music is pussy. Facts. That's true. Big y'all facts. are pussy, yo. The blueprint be right in front of your face on how to get and impact some well, shit well, or know, affect change. You know what, too? Like the fact that they already have the union, because I'm pretty sure there's some people in the, that, that they, don't want to fuck they, with the yeah, show. Yeah, in, in the Hollywood industry, For that sure. would like if they were able to, 
hey, fuck this. We're going to work. The lines. I'm going back to work. Yeah, but absolutely. There's penalties for that. Like you're trying to create it in music. Mm -hmm. And they like to, for them to even get involved in this picture or this show, you had to join this union. True. So this shit was set before you that got here. There's mm -hmm. musicians. That's, that's where they the still have juice. Is. Huh? There's there is musicians unions. They still have juice like like that. Or they had the or they don't have the big names in it. Man, Correct. a union with some with some juice got to start at somewhere. For sure, sure. I agree. You Out of desperation, it. I agree. Out of desperation, most unions came from a desperate yeah, situation. Desperate. Mm -hmm. These most niggas ain't desperate in music. That's it. You need to, to get the juice. You need the big dogs, no, and the big no, dogs ain't they, desperate. No, they ain't desperate. They're scared in music. It's more than just that. They're scared in music. That little quarantine pandemic learned you niggas good. Mm -hmm. I spoke to some of y'all. Y'all was petrified. Mm -hmm. Y'all voices was trembling. Like shit was real, real bad, and y'all didn't seem to know how to how to combat that. Navigate. Some Everybody of y'all, some of y'all never bounced back. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are still down. Like like my favorite restaurant over there in the story to get breakfast over there by Kaufman. Mad they closed. Mm -hmm. Some of my favorite spots closed down. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do it. Some other mm -hmm. spots modified a thing or two. Mm -hmm. They did the raw guy, took a pen and paper out, budget cuts, Sabors, Lolitas now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nigga, doing I what? know. <laughs> Shit. I get it. Hey, it's my man Fernando over there. He's been there th over 20 years. He, the, he, he, had enough, he had a little bit of enough money to weather the storm a little bit too. Some of these smaller restaurants are living, literally getting by month to month. So we don't have it. Six months of nothing, we we finished. Yo, I'm reti I'm retired in music, but listen, I'll stand with y'all. I'll stand with y'all. Let me know when y'all want to do it, where y'all want to do it, who y'all want to be the head or heads, who sits on the board, where we got to march, who we got to write to, who we got to talk to, when we have to not release music, when we have to stand in solidarity. Let me know. Podcast unions. We all got each other's numbers. We keep talking about bullshit. Podcast number, uh, unions, too. Yeah, that, too. Same boat. I put them all together just so we got some numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid just so we can have some numbers now. I'm down. I'm down for it. I know a lot of y'all. I know y'all. I know y'all making money out there. I know y'all happy. I know. I know. What happens when you don't? I know. No. What happens to sometimes the you got to take a couple steps backward to take a couple steps forward, man. More steps forward. I ain't gonna bore y'all to death with this because it's the weekend, but I'm monitoring this extremely closely. Mm -hmm. I'm glued to this. I stand with the writers and the actors, even though I ain't gonna have nothing to watch. That's gonna be tough. But the longer they go, the more it benefits my chances of getting this unscripted product <laughs> <laughs> to partner with, what? I mean, hey. hey true though. Bro, hey. The business is business fat. still. You right. You know what hey, hey, all the writers stop writing, hey, guess who keep going unscripted every week, twice a week, three hours, hey, think fire. It works for me. You right. Shit. It's fucked up. The three game hours. is the game. Three hours. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Ten hours. Not how it's segmented. True. <laughs> Just mute up over there. <laughs> <laughs> Ten hours. Nah, subscribe to the right. picture. Uh, yeah. That's exactly what happened last time. Subscribe. Don't try to, to unionize. <laughs> That's uh, what happened. <laughs> niggas started counting up hours. The niggas was like, hey. <laughs> 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 Ooh, Niggas sorry. started doing a little bit of math. Like, oh, hold up, got buddy. The, got the rock got pin out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Once that pin come out, <laughs> they had me, man. Just oh, like man. They got him. They got him. Uh, Speak, where we at? Where we at? Speak, speaking of they got him, this new little app running around got me, man. Which one? Monopoly. All of them that come out. Nah, nah. It's the, Every nah, one it's that the comes out. Shit, Temple run. It's the Monopoly shit, bro. Monopoly I don't even go. be Yeah man It's a new Monopoly app Monopoly Go Monopoly yeah, Go yo It's 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 so simple But it's addictive Like you'll just sit there Rolling the dice Playing Playing Collecting money All this bullshit And This nigga's a child I am a child <laughs> I don't spend money on apps I don't They got me though Let me go How much you lost? I might be down like 200 In two days You nice? Yo, what the fuck are y'all talking about right now? I'm just, he said, speaking, they got me. Like, this is a app that just popped up. I. It's the game Monopoly? Or is it just using no, the branding? No, it's the game Monopoly. Okay. But it's played a little differently. Like, you you play against, you have your own board, you play it against other people, you land, you know, how Monopoly goes, but you're not taking turns. You roll, and you know how, like, 
remember Candy Crush and shit? Like yeah. you have lives. Uh-huh. Where well, you have dice rolls. Mm. When you run out of dice rolls, you can buy more dice rolls. Mm. And they are. I, I'm dying to know what they're making because every. I just kept seeing tweets yeah. about it and posts about the shit. I'm like, let me let me look. Don't play that. Don't play that shit. Bro. Don't play that shit. Don't bro. play that shit. That's it. Some quick. I'm just. I, they got me. Got you. Mm-mm. They got me. They always get them. No, they don't. <laughs> Why do you think they always get me? This, this is kind of flagrant conversation. <laughs> Let's just move on, okay? Let's move on. Okay. It's really what flagrant. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I wouldn't call it. But flagrant. you're insecure, so I am. And usually, when you say move on, you like. Have something to move on to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, you coming at me? Uh, oh shit! All right, listen, don't play with me. I keep something to fucking uh, <laughs> get to. Let me get let me get my little cord out. It's right there. Tell y'all about this weird ass nigga. Oh, oh man. man, who did it now, y'all? What logic, uh, logic did? Oh, right, let me tell you. Oh no, uh, let me tell you what he did. Of course, of course it is. The shit I sent you? Answer. Of course it is. I've been seeing that oh, though. Said, oh. I've seen it before that. Tell you about this weirdo head ass nigga right here, man. I'm so sick of him. Nah, this one's nuts. They all been nuts. No, nah, but this one's nuts though. They all have been nuts. Okay, let's play it. I'm gay. <laughs> and I want you to face it. <laughs> no, not that one. Not, not that my one. My mom got stabbed. So my mom, yeah, she was in the park called hit the hard R on somebody, which she also did to me and my siblings all the time. We'll she play it again, just so you hear. Cause that's the same look I had. The same. I moved because my mom got stabbed. So my mom, yeah, she was in the park called hit the hard R on somebody, which she also did to me and my siblings all the time. And she stepped out and thought it was all good and some just yanked her it's up. It's just not all good. Definitely not. The N word. It's just not yeah. all good. It is. That is not a word. Yeah, no. So yeah. she hit someone with the hard R and they shanked her? Oh, yeah. They Where are we talking? Side? All, yeah, her side and in her back. Got her. A couple times. Got her. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's my mom. What the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen. Happening? Logic. I don't know, dude. I ain't never really had, like, I never gave a fuck. Yeah. I thought it was funny, funny joke, joke, but this is getting weird. Now. Yeah, yeah. This is getting weird. It's now. weird. It's, it's, it's past weird at this point. Joe's so happy. <laughs> nah, it's, I'm I ain't happy. Really. It's just like, I told I you. I was happy after you did the Ice Spice dance. <laughs> I've been ha- I've been happy long ago. Bro, you, I've been happy in some t- of the lyrics. Like he could have stopped at any point. I was happy after the interview we did with the old Nike. Yeah, I've been happy. <laughs> he been t- satisfied my logic hey. to tick that I had. <laughs> he could have chilled out. Why do we need to know that? When he paraded his dad everywhere on a leash. <laughs> Oh man! I didn't say nothing, but I did think it was odd. <laughs> no, seriously. Then he answer. Then he signed his dad. <laughs> seems seems familiar. Mm. Seems seems familiar. I think they used to. That was the trend like six hundred years ago. Get paperwork on these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was all right. y'all ain't say nothing. About <laughs> Nobody said a thing. I thought it was all right, maybe it's me again. <laughs> nah, I'm on board now. Yeah, I'm on board. Because this this is just why do we need to know that? One, one that mom. your moms dropped the hard R on somebody and used to call you and your siblings that. Right. Yeah, he said they stabbed that bitch up. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. They, they laughed. Started. Yeah. And he's laughing. Sound effects. Preparations, I guess. Holy shit. He's trying to show that he's down with us. What? No, He's fam. saying that his mom said the hard R and she got, you know, handled for it. And you want me to think that this guy is okay with who he is and just his own skin and being himself? He own? sounds like an idiot. Yeah. He sounds ridiculous. He's, I used to think you know. he was bullying him. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, people thought you were I thought bullying him. I, I definitely bro. thought you was bullying him. I, I was like, was leave, leave, leave him alone, though. Well, leave, but yeah, but... Leave him alone. Like, yeah, he don't... Like, bu- go bully somebody else. But, but I don't know. You guys... Now, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if this is what moms and did to him in the household coming up, I've been taking it like. I mean, you got some luck with you. I never called him the, the hard R. This, I don't know what's up with Joe. Joe would do something to somebody you'd think Joe was wrong, and then out of nowhere, and they, they just fall into his trap. Are you some type of wizard, no, man? I ain't trying to trap Logic. Like, logic, I hope you all right, man, but you, you, come from, you come from some shit, yo. You come from some, you come from, <laughs> I can't say it. I want to say it. What, trailer shit? He's going to say white trash? No, I'm not going to say that, but I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, I hey, said, but what's that about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's that, weird. Yo. Why are you snitching on moms? She got poked up, man, for saying that. Why are you snitching on your mom? Time code. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hey, I said to say to you real quick, Joe. To oh, know Joe. that I'm still like, you yeah. just went up there and just volunteered some shit that nobody cared about. Listen, mm. hey, I'm just doing my job. Like, yeah, is yeah. this is, 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 is that the content space or something? Like, yo, I gotta give them something to talk about. So That's I'm gonna go sell moms to out. Like. Coe, I'm gonna go sell See, moms. No, 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 don't put, moms don't, put, don't, don't put us with Coe, nigga. Don't put him. He's not down with Coe. Yes, he is. He's no, he's not. He's we didn't. Down. We didn't indoct, indoctrinate him, nigga. He's he's not down. Down. He's why, why? Why y'all got Ice Cube versus Biggie? Hold on, wait, 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 Joe. Before that, I'm sorry. Hold on, I said to say, flip ain't rolling to me. I'm sorry. I said to say, just mail checked you. I got something to say. Uh oh, check him. Um, no, it's not. It's not a check. A lot of times, man, I do pander to a lot of shit, right? Oh, you telling us? See, we know. Don't do it. I'm trying to clean. Go ahead. And I pander the shit. You know, I may bring up some topics that I don't hear you talk about. I'm like, man, Joe. But since I'm in the fucking door, let me bring it up so I can get Joe to talk about. And I be thinking you be on some bullshit, but the other day I watched something on YouTube and niggas attacked you. And I felt crazy. I felt crazy. I felt bad for defending niggas, bringing their names up. Well, you can say what you're talking about. Okay. No, no, I saw a guy. I think it's like, I forgot his name, but he made a YouTube video about all the attacks that Vlad did to you. It, I, I thought saw, it was I a conspiracy, it. and that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit kind of fucked me up. Why? Because because I was up here with Math the time I was like, Math. We were, I was up here. Shout out to Math. I was up here with him, and I brought it up. I said, Why you don't be cool with Vlad? I even we even called this phone. I mean that clip didn't come out yet, but we called this phone and all that shit. And I was defending because I felt like Vlad wanted to do business with me, and I'm gonna do business. And then I watched this fucking YouTube video, and I thought, and I'm like, God damn, son, that, he did that. He was on Joe's ass like that. No wonder. Sometimes I feel like you act a little emotional and you go too far, but you got a reason. So I want to remove myself from defending niggas now, and I want to join the dark side, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that may be. All right. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up, though. You, I mean, you a survivor. I see why you act the way you act. You a survivor. No, you are. You didn't, did you see it? That's some crazy shit. So that nigga, yeah. holy shit. I saw that clip on YouTube. The guy did a good job. He did. He did a good job with that. It came across my feed. I didn't watch it though. But yeah, Vlad, he was a good seven seven years straight where he was on he was on me. He was on me bad. And I don't ever forget this stuff. Good to see it edited correctly. Yeah, what's the dirt? Just got yeah. But you can uh, listen, it but you can work with Vlad. I'm not, no, that, not, I'm not that type of guy. It's not about me working with him or not. It's not about that. It's about not knowing. It's about saying I would have never if I if I saw that before. And it, it goes to show my lack of journalism, my lack of research. Nigga, I was just on your ass, nigga. Like, man, man stop acting like a nigga. It's Vlad. He's doing his thing. You're doing your thing. But to see that the way that was put together, I feel crazy. Like, damn, son. Like, that's what Joe was going through? Because you, 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 you fucking muddy the waters with shit. You play gay. You do this shit. Like, we don't know what to take serious, nigga. Oh, my God. Like, you don't want to explain. I asked you plenty of times to get on the phone with me. Explain to me what's going on so I can defend you properly. Pause. You don't want to do that. Nigga, go ahead, nigga. Do what you want to do. I don't ask to be defended out here. But I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm, no problem. And Salute. you can work with him if you want to work with him. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't feel I, I don't need you to give me permission. Stop doing that. You, you, that's that's, wait, that's you, my tricks. Wait, you don't? <laughs> that's not the contract? Oh, <laughs> what you said? <laughs> you brought the contract. Strike! <laughs> Fox, over there. Union! <laughs> uh, all right, somebody want to tell me why that's up there? Ice, Ice Cube versus oh, Biggie. Biggie. So, what happened? Um, I seen what happened. Somebody want to tell me why that's up I there? I seen it too. <laughs> I, I seen what happened. Tony Yayo, Drink Champs. Yeah. Yeah. And I was talking to the fellas earlier. I saw Ice Cube's response. He had a response? He had a response? I saw his son's response. I didn't see his. What did he say? I saw his response. He was uh, talking to self for Well, give the, give the backstory. Yeah, backstory first. All right, well, backstory. Like you said, Yayo was on Drink Champs, and um, DJ EFN says that Cube was a better storyteller than Big. Biggie. And Yayo hit, hit the roof. Like, yo, you're out of your mind. Biggie, no way. Not possible. And I did see a bunch of um, conversation going about that. Like, people, yo, what side? And I want to ask y'all what side y'all fell on. 
Mm. Just in terms of storytelling. Just storytelling. Mm-hmm. But so Ice Cube's response to that was... Yeah. Ice Cube's response was, I'm a fan, huge fan of Biggie. It's all subjective. Depends on what, where your interests are. He said, I, th- I have a bigger body of work than Biggie. True. And he also said, well, storytelling and what? Just rapping? Because I tell stories in movies mm-hmm. as well. Mm. So how are you looking at it? Okay. So just depends on how you look at it. Mm. I mean, he has the bigger hit story record. So that's an easy, easy win. Who? That's debatable. Cube what do you mean? That's, what do you mean? That's debatable. Cube. What, what big story is a bigger hit than that? Juicy. That's autobiographical. That's not a story. <laughs> yeah, go park that in your square. Ain't really a story. Really story. Um, I feel what, you. What's but, the cube record you talking about? Today was, was a good day. day. Good day. Today was a good day. Sorry. Yeah. Um, all right. Maybe. Uh, maybe I had Chinese food all through school. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wrong earlier with Mel. So let's see. What's the second verse? Sounds sounds a little story so far. <laughs> am I am I missing something? Nah, I nah I'm standing with Parks. I'm still. Well, what's the we got that part. Well, what's the difference between that's, like that so far? That, that is so story. far that is, is not a story. That is a story tell. That but is wait, story. so is there even a, dis- a whole song? I'm, I wouldn't read the scan the lyrics. Real is quick. there a He's- distinction between autobiographical and storytelling? For me, there is. Why? Because everyone's music, to some degree, is autobiographical, okay. especially in that era. Uh huh. I, I think that it's telling a story, i.e., Nas or Slick Rick or Ice Cube, that is a fictional story, is different from telling your story. I the, totally disagree. The one when um when he was like, "Yo." Uh, Stupid motherfuckers got told they parked by a hydrant. That was a story. Yes, mm-hmm. that's different to yeah. me than juicy. It's a different kind of story, but it's still, it's a, it's still a story. It's still a story. A, bi- a, bi- a autobiographical story is a story. Yeah, and all rappers' raps about themselves are not a story. True. They could have autobiographical elements because you're referring to yourself, but dang this. Oh yeah. This is one of the best songs ever like, well, in the history of music to me. So we're not we don't have to argue that. To me, I just don't look at that yeah, as a story, story in the same way of children. It's fine. Story. We don't have to so, stay. We don't so, have to stay on that. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Where do you stand on the uh, debate? Cube. Uh, big. Big for me. Big. Just because there's I, there's more memorable story songs from Big, and maybe that's East Coast bias. I was just going to say that that could be a lot of East Coast yeah, it bias. Maybe it may be. Can we play? Oh, I'm Cube. Cube. Cube got my summer vacation. Once upon a time in the projects. Great song. It was like uh, steady mobbing, bird in hand. These are classic story records that if you're just not familiar with Cube's catalog, that's, that's because of East Coast bias, you would not know. Not just I'm that. pretty familiar with Cube's catalog, but let's go. Let's go. Uh, ice. It's Cube. It's Cube. It's, 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 I'm it's older. Biggest. Definitely I'm, Cube. I'm older, and a lot of people are really not as familiar with Ice Cube as a rapper. Mm-hmm. Like, people don't have Ice Cube ranked high as a rapper because they, they don't. just don't know. Mm-hmm. True. But um, Ice Cube was, at one point, a top five rapper in the world. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, I'm rolling. Big! Big. Storytelling? Yeah, we'll Christopher Wallace! <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Wish you knew his middle name? Nope. George <laughs> Latour. <Orius Dunk. laughs> George Latour. <laughs> B I G Christopher George Latour Wallace <laughs> Only you P O P P A Look, even that's a story. <laughs> oh my God! But I'm not mad at your answer. I'm not yeah, mad I'm not at nobody. Mad. That, yeah, I'm, not mad. I'm not mad at nobody Cube that says Q. Yeah. I don't think this is a blasphemous uh, comparison, comparison at all. No, it's not. I think it's it actually, actually makes kind of. Sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Throw Scarface in the mix. Big. Face is high up there, too. Uh, Big. Big over Scarface as well, Joe? Big. Is there anybody above Big? Dana Dana and Slick Rick. In storytelling. Story. In storytelling. said Dana Dana. And Slick Rick. Nas. Yeah. All right. Nas. Nas. Yeah. Let's look yeah. And I think Nas and Biggie are like neck and neck on par for me with maybe Nas getting the edge because he did it longer. Mm-hmm. But why I have Biggie so high is really 80% of Biggie verses with stories. He told a lot of stories. He did. 
And I think that's the difference. That's between, why. That's the difference between him and Cube for me is like a, a greater portion of his catalog Same. is story. It's storytelling. Yeah, yeah, two albums. I was about to say his catalog is what? Yeah, but most of those two albums have like, shit. Arguably, his greatest story is not even on none of them albums. Soon as she spoke on that note, I saw a trench coat. One had a Mac spitting. All I saw was gun smoke. The other had a shoddy. I was shooting everybody, and I wasn't missing. Had to get out this position. Nigga still hitting. Feeling hot was in my back. Lick six shots. Smoked the nigga with the Mac. The nigga with the shot. He still busting. Busting. Monico, come on. As you know with me, all I'm trying to do is shoot. I, oh, don't you know don't? That. You don't know that. No, don't you know lying. That. He don't know You that. are lying. Bruh. Oh, so you can't even know, talk uh, about this. Uh, 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 I can play some cube shit. I know that. Uh, 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 uh. Sick of mama, dad get a job, nigga. Press to the limit, got to rob me a nigga. My man scoop me to the. What's for them here? This is what we gotta do, G. Got to bang a nigga and bang a nigga good, so I can cop a bands and get the fuck out the hood. Let's go. Yo, I know a lot of y'all listening wasn't born in '95. I'ma just play this verse about the nurse and we can move on. There's no wrong answer to this question. If you pick Cube, if you pick Big. But I was outside in 95. I'm getting head on the beach. You singing the words. Sitting on about half a million. You singing the words for somebody that never heard it. Because I heard it on Notorious. You singing the words. Because I heard it on Notorious. You still singing the words. <laughs> I'm just now finding out that that was used there. Mm, 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 mm. And you do a music <laughs> podcast. This is a lifestyle <laughs> podcast. You do a music mm. podcast. A lifestyle podcast. Mm. And a music podcast. Speak on my life. Wow. Speak That's on my life, Joe. Autobiographical. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> There's a difference. Quick uh, question. Quick question while we here. Shoot. Oh my Your God, top man. three storytelling rap songs. Make it small. Three lists. Uh, they Ch reminisce over you. Children's Story has to be in there. Like your favorite. That was your favorite? I'm not saying yeah. like, you know, favorite and best. Troy, I never really, yeah, okay. that's a story. That's, that's a story that's autobiographical. Oh, you too. hate the autobiographical I, No, I, those are my favorite. I think that Troy and Juicy, the two best hip hop songs of all time, arguably. I just don't necessarily count them as story records, personally. Yeah, me either. In the same way, I guess, that I look at Children's Story or Nas's mm. Undying Love or even I Gave You Power or something like that. Like, those are different types of stories. I'll say one that might be obscure and you guys will probably shit on me for it, but whatever. We would never. Um, Meet the Parents, Jay-Z. It's a lot of people's favorite. That's huh? a really good story. Rewind is, is my number one. Why would we shit on you about that? Really good story. Oh. Why do you think we would shit on you? That is a great one. For that selection. Yeah, man. Why, why, why are you Why did you preface it like that? I forgot who threw Stop it in the that, argument. Man. I saw it. I think it was just a tweet really that I saw, song. but someone threw Will Smith in the storyteller argument, and I actually Summertime? wasn't. Summertime, the Fresh Prince intro, the fucking uh, parents just don't understand. Like, I think he, I could beat Mike Tyson. I think I could beat Mike Tyson. He, he had a lot of ill story records. I wasn't I'm mad not at mad that. at someone um, saying that. I'm not again, I'm, dignifying I'm, I'm it. I'm older, so I'm going to go uh, send a fella. My favorites, Rewind, Nas. Send a fella? Who's send a fella? Dane Dane. See, I don't even Dane Dane did a lot of storytelling. Eminem is up there on my list. Yeah? Mm. Mm, me. Stan. I'm better Stan. than all these niggas. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, 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 on, you on my list? I mean, I can't name 10, rap, 10 better storytelling rappers than me. Fuck out of here. I've put I'm that list my, together before. Dick. You was on that list. High up there, too. But I'm not allowed to say that. That's, I know, it's true. Yeah, you can't yeah. big your friends up. That's a shame. We can't be vulnerable. Can't, 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 can't support your, our friends. Can't hide can't your pimples. Your friends, can't support can't your family. Your friends. Too many rules. Oh, it's too many rules. Can't do it, bro. Just shut up. It's going to be tough. That's it. <laughs> Um. All right. What else is going on in the universe? Um, speaking of storytellers and whatnot, Book of Hove exhibit yes. in uh, downtown. Brooklyn, downtown. Brooklyn. We're going as a group, right? Duh. I think we should. I'm with it. I think can we, we do should. anything as a fucking? Group? I, listen, I am with it. Yeah. Hove is high on my uh, storyteller. Hove high on my everything <laughs> list. <laughs> Whatever category. I didn't want to say because I'm a Avenger, but he is Hove up there. Yeah. Okay. Of course. I would like well, to go see the book. Yo, of you got. Yeah. I wonder yeah. what he feels like. Like, yo, dog, they are putting my uh -huh. lyrics at the fucking Brooklyn Museum. And I saw a thing where it was like the outside was mm -hmm. just. Fam, you just got to be like, yeah, I made it. My look. That's a fly ass feeling. Imagine what you would feel like. Going there as a kid to. You know what I'm saying? You and your mother just go up there, all your words is just on the outside of a fucking building. Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole exhibit. Outside of my crazy. name being in there. African American Museum of History in DC. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like clocking you with this phone. 
<laughs> I'll settle for that. I bet you would. Small feet. Fuck ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that's some fly shit. Like you, that's some real super fly shit. But yeah, we could do it as a group. We should. Now let's see if we can get that set up. <laughs> Everybody be with this so shit till the time. Lead, I when, guess. when do I want to sound uncultured? <laughs> now? now, now? <laughs> Should I wait till they text about it? <laughs> let's see. Let's hear it. I'll play it by ear. Let's hear the, let's hear the lack of culture. You don't get the point? <laughs> you ain't going to no museum? <laughs> <laughs> With you niggas, especially. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going. The lyrics I seen on the front of the museum, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, shit, I know that song. <laughs> it's more than that, though. Tell it's me. A library. There's Explain a whole it. exhibit. It's a library, in not the museum. Like, they, they've done. The rock chain was in there. They recreated Baseline in there. They did that. I've been to oh, Baseline. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw Jeff Blaze. It's, 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 it's. <laughs> What else? It's a bunch of shit, Joe. That's it. The but what else? Tell me, you might change my mind. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not. You you ain't going. You're not cultured enough. It's okay. It's all right, bro. It's all I've right. been to baseline. I, I understand. What else they got? I haven't been to baseline. You seen? I haven't been to you baseline. Seen, you seen I'll, seventeen I'll, I'll, different I'll Jeffrey Dahmer docs? If the eighteenth <laughs> one came out, you might see it with the spin on it going to be. Damn. So when go, you were in LA, did so you go, go to the Tupac damn. exhibit? Go to one of your idols. That was strong. Exhibits, bro. Okay. Oh, dude, you. Uh, what? Gotta, gotta go to museums. What? It's fun. What's fun about it? It ain't the funnest. Don't listen What's to What's fun about it? That bullshit. Yeah, we're, tell me. I'll tell you what I like to do. Yeah, yeah there we go. Tell me. I like to get extraordinarily high on marijuana and go look at shit. It's fun. It's cool. You just okay. be bugged out. It's in Put on some shades. Man, fuck the information. I just want to see some cool yeah, it's, shit it's when I'm high. All right, so mm -hmm. I, it, there's a bunch of zones in here. So zone one is called Already a Work of Art. Mm. It says this section features objects from his career, like the jacket from his decoded book, uh, the Marcy sign, audio interviews of him recorded through each era of his career, etc. <laughs> <laughs> section two is baseline. I don't want to see the jacket. I'm, 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 it's a museum. I'm, 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 I'm with Joe on this one. I'm cool. I'm on just going to read everything nah, in here. What, what's exactly in zone what two? Else is here. Zone two is baseline. They recreated oh, baseline. Okay. This is fine. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Mm. Zone three is called Did It Without a Pen. Mm. It says this section is about Jay's music. It's creation oh, wait, and influence. That's kind of fucked up. You can't even, he didn't write no lyrics down. So His, his actual master recordings are on display. That's some of the cool thing about like the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or whatever that shit oh, wait. is in Ohio. Like what zone is the dats in? <laughs> <laughs> wait, for real. Yeah. Joe, stop. Was that zone four? Oh, There's Three. also a vinyl collection of the records containing all 236 of the samples used on his recordings, et cetera. Wait, et cetera. all of them? <laughs> For the first time ever, <laughs> somewhere together. Oh, wait, no, Joe might be on the side. I hope you get a call. Right, I hope you, you fucking idiots. I, 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 I y'all are fucking idiots. I hope you get a call. Y'all are fucking idiots. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, man. Keep going, Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> get a call about what? I heard this shit. The whole thing looked like he was. Like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. He looked like he All right. I'm telling you what I see. You want to hear the rest of them? One of the yeah. Cool, yeah, all right. Like One of the cool so, things usually about these is like you see the handwritten lyrics and shit like that, but you don't write nothing down. So, well, speaking of not writing you see down, pictures, hold on. You see the studio Wait. sessions, you see photographs and all that shit. That you plan on going ish? Yeah. I'm you know, definitely sure. sure. Speaking of not writing down, Meek recently said because he realized that Hove and Wayne. Don't write, so he's not writing anymore either. Mm. Just want to just just a little quick little, you know. <laughs> that's what's up. That's, that's what's up. fire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute. That's what's up. Salute. While we're on it, yeah, you had a, a bar, a good, a bar a, for that. One. A good friend of the show, text me just out of the blue to say, "I can't believe you let them niggas get away with saying the little baby works for Michael Rubin." <laughs> works, for works. They say yeah. work for him. They said they work together. Yo, I said, said they was dealing. You said they work together. together. Yeah. He don't work what for him or nothing. What dealing? What are they doing? No, they said me. He said me. Yo, that's what was me. That's right. It was me. He, he, he said baby. He said me. They said both of them. But what's the dealing? What are they doing? The fanatic, the fanatic shit, shit they was doing. They own, what do they do? They own, they own fanatics together. They don't. <laughs> All right. They don't. All right. Moving on. Anyway. I got it. He said you just say whatever, yo. <laughs> Well, I don't give a fuck what phone. He pulled out his little phone like it's a Glock. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, when Ish get the Glock. <laughs> oh, That's funny. That's funny. Here it goes. All right, come on, come Here on. What up, come on. What up, Jugger? Um, 
Section they four. Lie. Go ahead. Go ahead. What does Google say? What does it say? Tell them that. Read it. Come over here. It's CNBC, so it ain't cock sources. That's true. Sports apparel firm fanatics buys Mitchell and Ness with Jay Z, Meek Mills, and other celebrities. He doesn't own anything in fanatics. <laughs> huh? Yo, come on, move on. Move on. Put us move on. on. No, I'm not putting nobody on or nothing. I, I don't know do nothing. That. I don't have nothing. You I'm just sitting no- here talking to my friends. Yo. I bet. <laughs> That's, That's it. Like, that, that, that should give you more uh, <laughs> encouragement to put your mans on, nigga. Put us on. What are we saying wrong? Another. What's in zone four, bro? Oh, <laughs> zone four is called Win Win in Business, man. It says this zone covers Jay's businesses and philanthropic efforts, including artifacts and audio tours covering Rockefeller, Rock Nation businesses, Rock Aware, 4040, Title, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, section five is called So Fly. Until we got it, yo. All right. This is, this is me this, I'm going. Put me to sleep it's seven, it's seven sections. Oh, yeah, I don't need Daryl. Okay, yeah. I'm going. So, yeah, I don't care. I'm going so, to see it anyway. So you I want to see the studio. I'll so go, go if when I go, all them niggas that I've seen in the pictures is going to be there. Like, ho, oh, <laughs> Just Blaze, <laughs> Guru. Guru. They're not going to be there. The Dream. Guru, <laughs> Guru was just... He was They're not going to be there. Mm-mm. Oh, then guess who else ain't about to be there? Oh, you want me to go alone? Or like no, my girl? You're supposed to go as a group. Oh, no, please. <laughs> please, y'all. We, we write, ain't a real right, Avenger. Right, write me about it. We ain't a real Avenger. Write me about it. Damn, right. Damn. Take his whole Avenger Avenger card. card might be. Yeah, it's in question. It's definitely in question. Damn. Damn. Hate to see it. That's Sean Bradley bar still. <laughs> Stinks. Yeah, 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 I get it. They got the pump it up zone in there somewhere. <laughs> they, <laughs> they playing. Now y'all playing with I think black people to go to museums are weird, but. Huh? Whoa. Not for now. <laughs> you said what? I think black people to go to museums are weird. Why? You co signed that? It's an interesting conversation. Black people going to museums? Yeah, I think it's weird. Why? Why? Because what's a museum? It's a house a of house artifacts. Of it's just, just a bunch of stolen history and artifacts. Y'all got it. Shit. Y'all got it. So how are we going to see it, though? You're going to go see it. No, I'm asking you. How? No, no, no. Thank no. God they murdered and massacred all those all right, yeah, people and took that shit and put it in. Every museum is different. That's number one. You could go to an aerospace museum and don't have nothing about thievery. And an African-American museum somewhere? Yes. yes. But why do I care about the aerospace? It depends on what your 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 interests are. So somebody they got a going, trap museum, dog. Whatever you like, there's a museum. It's for. a museum for museum of things. sex. Yeah, shit oh, like that. That's not you, stolen. You right for that Come on, <laughs> right. it's, not, it's not very good. It's a scam. Yeah, it's a scam. It's a scam. With so, the museum so, of sex. Don't be mad at me because I'm calling shit what it is. So it should be a scam. I went to a museum. The museum Wilson, of sex is a scam. scammy. Your Glock is raised. Your Glock is raised. Hey, yo, I think funny. you might have been a right, rapper, yo. I ain't gonna lie. That's funny. Because you were witty as a, f- yo, your Glock is just coming through. I'll go to the museum if we could do like our version of a night in the museum where we spend a night in there and try to Why get are you back. you saying crazy? Where right we there. try to get back some of the shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the, the next episode is what? Like, <laughs> locked up? Our night in Rikers? <laughs> what? Free the pod. Our night in Rikers? <laughs> Free the pod. <laughs> you Your Honor, on. they made me come. I ain't even want to do this shit. I was trying to go home. <laughs> I was just Rat and Randy over. right here. Oh, yeah, I'm going home. Rat and Randy right here. I'm hungry. <laughs> what, what, what we eating? Tell me some of the. You know what? See, I don't think I know y'all well enough, and I'm too vulnerable on here. Tell me some of the chaotic things that y'all have done, like. In your upbringing, did y'all ever go to the supermarket with some friends and just have a fruit fight with the fruit in there? Seriously, I'm asking. No, no. I've never done that. In the 24 hour path mark? No, right no. I've like, taken my rollerblades and rollerbladed like, through the supermarket. I've gone to the supermarket when I was in college, and niggas have a, a thief fest for the cookout. Everybody was broke. <laughs> Okay. So, so niggas go. going. Yeah. No bullshit. There you niggas go. was going you in there. You did that after your pelvic injury? Yes. <laughs> niggas was going in there. <laughs> niggas was putting whole whole things of ribs down their sweatpants. <laughs> no bullshit. How, wait, so you was going. <laughs> but if, if it got hot, what you was going to do? What you mean? You was going to limp off? <laughs> I wasn't injured, you asshole. Oh, it was a graze? <laughs> do, do, I, do I limp now? A he wa- no, you don't. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't that to you. Hunchback and everything. Stand, stand up, stand up, stand up, bitch. <laughs> hey, no, stand up, stand up, bitch. Show him, nigga. He know I don't limp, nigga. Show him how you walk, bitch. Show him, hey, yeah. Show him how you walk. Walk around, walk around the table, bitch. <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. Oh, man. A fruit fight in the fucking. These are your ass whip. 
Like that shit was some of the best fun we had in life. Sounds a little bit lit. That shit was some of the most fun we How had in life. I was a teen, teenager, seventeen, eighteen. Oh yeah, no, you was grown. You was grown. Right? Was grown. <laughs> thirteen, I would have gave you a pass. Didn't do it dumb shit at eighteen. It sounds hey, funny. Yeah. Thirteen. What did you do at eighteen? It was dumb. Joy Rotten. What does that mean? Is that like no no like soul skag? <laughs> what, is, what is scag? I was gonna say, what is scag? What is scag? Is it box? That? For the no. audience, is it bo- you were selling? You were selling bussy? Oh man, you were selling your bussy? No, this don't help his north. That's where that lotion Stop. fear came from. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Traumatic oh, memories. She said, "Was that like?" Yo. All right, so you sold scag. He was a pimp. Oh, you selling pussy? Yo, come <laughs> on! Stupid. What, Joseph? <laughs> At 18, I wasn't having no fruit fights in a path mark. This couldn't be no pimp. Hey, you can't wear that over there. <laughs> <laughs> Change your clothes. You crazy. <laughs> uh, Out the bus stop. All man. right, so nobody ever did nothing at 18. Y'all got it. No. Uh, uh, what, what, else, what, what else is going on? Uh, I'm playing chase and shit in cars. Is that a question for everyone? He said, I was doing B&Es at 18. Were you really? Yeah. 18, 19, yeah, I was losing my mind. Mm. You know, I told you, <laughs> niggas have seen him. I had to get that caddy. Yeah, niggas. I had to get the money uh, for that caddy. Yeah, yeah I man. did. Nah. <laughs> niggas have seen them sign. I mean, you being around the people, you Being-Nese know. Being these weird, like in Queens? I, I'm not going to describe that. <laughs> but it was Long one B&E it, it B- B- that I did that when I got up, I, I, I went back and I, I gave them some bread. Because I, you know, I felt bad, man. I was, that's but when, you went back to the scene? I did. Years later, though. Was bad you, ain't your, you, know? you ain't pay your cameraman? <laughs> no, I'm not. Yo, JR. <laughs> You're not paying JR. You know what it was? That's when I was in the whole, that whole karma shit. Like, yo, karma. I'm like, man. I, I was driving through the neighborhood. I'm like, I violated this crib badly. <laughs> I'm like, I remember being, I'm such a, 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 a crazy man. I remember being there watching them come out panicking, nigga, across the street like this. Oh, what, what's going on? Watching them panic, nigga. So how'd that go, though? You knocked on the door like, yo, I robbed y'all years ago. Yeah, no, I gave him some bread. What's bread? So wait, you walked up and knocked on the door and said, hey, I robbed you before. Here's some money. When I was young, I stole 30,000 worth of shit, but here go 2,500. Yeah, I did. I clunked you in your motherfucking head. Look at Echo at the fucking museum. (laughs) (laughs) See? Wow. (laughs) Look at all y'all. All All y'all at the museum taking pics. (laughs) Nigga, they ran to the pink fucking 2 chains museum and took pics in front of the pink car. At least it's whole. No shots to nobody, but it's whole. That's we whole vengers. Like no, so no, no, no. I'm saying we're whole vengers. Uh, like that's up, that's what I'm brand Nigga, if y'all go, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm but y- telling but y'all you, y'all be going together. If y'all go together, I'm going. Okay. I'll, I'll pull up on you. Yo, if you knock anything down, I'm not doing. Stop. Don't say <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, Jr. No can't go. I ain't doing no shit like that. Come on. If you <laughs> never, 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 never. I think you crazy. And they gonna take the jacket and try to put it on and rip it. <laughs> you see, why you gotta say that about your man? I ain't doing no shit like that. I'm going in there to learn. So when we see your shirt come off. I ain't doing that in there. Hell no. <laughs> you will be in Rikers by yourself. <laughs> They'll lock you up. They got a precinct under that, that, at that library. Shit. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We bike. Mm. All right. What's going on? What is going on? What's going on? <laughs> Whoa, why are you laughing? The tension in the room is palatable. <laughs> this nigga Joe is like, what's wrong with you, bro? You're such a phony ass nigga. What? Nothing is in your phone. You try to like. I did have something for the okay. Island Boys uh, kiss. Let's move on. Oh, <laughs> Important news. No, that's, I don't know who the niggas is. I was just gonna say who the fuck is that? The Island Boys is the two weirdo oh, yeah, twin yeah. brother uh, dudes that act and the weirdo dudes be posting. Just yeah, two weird niggas with and tattoos shit. and yeah. funny hair. Every time I see him, I say, "Who are y'all? Don't need. I don't have the bandwidth mm-hmm. to retain the Island Boys, but nah. apparently they're kissing. They're tongue kissing." Yeah, they kissed all, as yeah. brothers. So people are saying that they are uh, nasty, uh, <laughs> incest baiting, trolling. In, no, not trolling. They are being very specific. <laughs> incest specific. baiting, because yeah. apparently that is a thing. Coe. Yeah. Let, <sighs> let me tell you something. Boy, and and why? And why are we focused on the Island Boys and the Hove Museum? The news is telling me this morning that. The New York, uh, they are rewriting, redrawing yeah. the New York congressional map. Excuse me? Well, apparently, sense. and map, 
uh, geography people are arguing and fighting to take politics out of map drawing. Apparently, when you draw the map, mm. it pits certain places against certain places. Mm -hmm. So the map was redrawn a few times, and apparently, however it got drawn up, they say is responsible for the uh, election wins for Jerry Nadler, uh, San, uh, DeSantos, and a few other people. Mm -hmm. So now they're saying that the Democrats are redrawing the shit so they could get a win. In New York? or Next year. Because well, they, just... they, they redraw it all the time to try to fucking... To modify some shit. No, to try to get the vote more votes. Yeah. Okay. I never thought about the politics involved with of the drawing uh, yeah. of a uh, map. Yeah. Of course. Y'all tell me I'm crazy for not believing that the map is the map. What do you mean not believing the yeah, map is the map? Up. Yeah, like you mean What I don't believe that whatever they drew is what everything is and where it is. Like the little rumor that behind Arizona is Africa or some shit or the, or the North Pole or you know, just secret pathways and gateways in this world that I don't think they put on the map for people. I think there's mad shit in the world that they didn't account for, wasn't there didn't for, don't have proof of. Like, I just don't believe it. We drew what we knew. This is our Utah here. <laughs> Texas here. Got it. But do I believe that that's what it was originally? No, I'm not riding with that. Um, what else is important to me here? What's important to y'all? Because hmm. I'm gonna talk about the Yankees putting uh, putting uh, insurance company tags on their uniforms. That's we, not just we, the Yankees. The whole NBA did that the last couple of years. The NBA, they passed a rule so that that could be done. There are other major league teams yeah. that do that. But the last team you would expect to do that ever is the Yankees because Yankees. of their rules and guidelines. The Yankees still don't have names on their jerseys. No facial hair, no, facial pop, hair, pop no beard, no mustache, and no name on your jersey, but you're going to put star insurance on your shit all the way through 2031 for $25 million a year? Yeah. Stop it. Damn, I didn't know they had all the mother... I don't, I'm not a baseball yeah, the Yankees, fan. No, that's the, Yankees, the Yankees have rules that no other team has. Yeah. yeah. Like my man used to... So work. that's why it's... That's why them doing it yeah, is being looked that. at like, yo, dog, what are y'all doing? Business going business. There's no names on the Yankees jersey, right? right. No, they can't put no names. Not, it's not if about you're the name. part of the organization, you can't have facial hair. Mm -hmm. Well, even, you can have a mustache, that's it. Even if you're an exec. Because my man used to work for uh, the Nets. Who? Oh. Drew. And at one point, the Nets and the Yankees were, oh. the, the Nets and the Yankees were um, a partnership. Mm -hmm. So everybody at the Nets couldn't have facial hair neither. But that was a Steinbrenner shit. Like, even the niggas in the higher-ups, it's not just the players. Who made that rule? Steinbrenner. George, he used to own the team. Now I mean, I get that they paying Aaron Judge a lot of money. Cut your fucking hair off. I think it's nuts, though. Yeah. And it looked funny when they walk out there. It looked funny... <laughs> Looking at Yankee pinstripes. Are, are other MLB teams doing this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, again, I don't. Yeah. I'm not familiar with baseball. Listen, the more the more money, the better. The more revenue, and we got to play happens. the games anyway, and wear the uniforms anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm not against. I'm not against this. I'm against it when it comes to the Yankees. I don't like seeing it, even in the NBA. I don't like the little the NBA advertising. Now, why they look whack? It should look like a, a Canadian league or fuck. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey! <laughs> I Stop already had that. a scowl. No, it's just a. Ch Stop it. Stop it, man. She's sitting right here. Yeah. She's trying, right yeah, here in front of you. Don't be Canadian. As forward. your co-host, you know your friend, it was just Canada Day. All the niggas that play overseas, they get sponsorships. It look like a fucking NASCAR. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever the sponsor, you taking it on because they're giving you bread. So you're just putting all these different tags and logos on your shit. The NBA would be blah, blah, blah insurance right there on your shit. It's weird. Shit look funny. It is weird. Yeah. Just because we're not used to seeing it. Come on, what else is the internet mad at? Uh, little, they say Lil Baby can't sell out his tour. Yeah, he canceled a bunch of dates. Canceled a bunch of dates for his tour. Yeah. Mm. Wow. What does it mean? React. He ain't had no big slaps in a minute. I was about to not say, just that. Had like, the, the, it didn't look like a, I said it when I first saw it. This is not a tour that I, pers as a fan of his, this is not a tour that I would rush out to go see. Was there anybody else on it? Yeah, he mm. has, um, I think, glows on there. I'll get Y'all can talk, I'll get the other names on there. Hmm. Why did they, they, they cancel on it? But that's why you wouldn't want to go is because the other names that run. Well, when you if if you don't have the slaps, 
mm-hmm. like that to perform. Like I just saw Lil Baby perform with Chris Brown on tour, mm-hmm. and I, I, he did okay. Okay. Um, the supporting acts will kind of make up for a lot of that too. Right. And if it's you got a person who has maybe one record, like I don't even, or some other acts that I don't even know, it's like I'm not rushing out to get this to, to go to this tour. Mm. Yeah, but off namesake, wouldn't you think that Lil Baby would fare better in an arena tour? Not necessarily. Or no. No, not necessarily. Okay. It's 20,000 people, yo. It's you a need Glorilla, to- Kid Leroy, Gloss Up, Rilo Rodriguez, I know Rilo. Honcho. Oh, okay. Y'all wasn't trying to sell it out. <laughs> See, that's, that's what that tell me real quick. <laughs> mm-hmm. y'all, y'all wasn't trying to sell that out at all. Respectfully, of arenas? Of course. Yeah. Respectfully, yeah. of course. You're talking about an arena tour. You better roll that's some a pavilion. Names, that's a yeah. pavilion tour. Mm-hmm. Like even, yeah. And even that. I, I told y'all when I went to see um, Chris Brown and Lil Baby. Outside of the major markets, they were doing amphitheaters, which for Chris Brown is not... He don't do those. Mm-hmm. So now Lil Baby is headlining the tour. And you got your your supporting acts on the tour ain't really got no slaps like that. Gotcha. And you're trying to sell um, arena seats out. Uh, if the musicians did it, did it strike, fucking Rolling Loud would be calling Spotify their damn self. People would get on the phone and try to pony up some money <laughs> and find out how we could fix this. Uh, you see, and see, and see, and see, that's the other point. thing I think happens. You get these names who headline festivals, and you you kind of get a little okay. We had X amount of thousands here at this festival, and you think I could sell that on your tour? That's not all yours. True. There's a lot of names on that festival that they here to see. It ain't necessary. You're you're the headliner, but everybody there is not there for you. And it'll, it'll it can gas you. You know, you think you can sell out a bigger arena, arena than you really can, or a bigger venue. Well, even if they was, I'm still getting a accumulation of artists that I might like or just be all right with me but I wouldn't mind seeing them. Right. I don't know if I'm gonna go spend $400 to see them. Right. Like these tickets now mm-hmm. are like you said this shit is starting to be so a luxury, luxury item. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shit is expensive dog. Fucking Kane Brown tickets was like $400. Like that shit is starting to be expensive. Beyonce selling out that shit is expensive. Beyonce is a see vacation. That, and that's the alternative mm-hmm. to us not striking. Because we still got to find an answer, right? How do we eat? How do we feed our families? The alternative to that is raising the price of music altogether. Mm-hmm. Which is taking it from the fans. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. But yeah, music will be a luxury ticket item. Mm-hmm. Listen to your fucking thoughts and your silence. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your yeah, friends, stupid. your family, <laughs> nigga. Fuck, you to, want. fuck to the AC Read sound. a book. Yeah, yeah. word. Yeah. Hey, the smoke Books detector that you ain't fucking fixed. <laughs> Come to that. Shit is in. Get a little beat out of it. <laughs> Not for nothing, too. This would be the time to strike. Because if you get TV and music all oh, shut down yeah. at the same time. That's time, why I'm boy. calling all of these people pussy. Because this is how these things work. You, right. you don't have to work together to work together. Word. All you got to do is see... Oh, they doing that now? Let's oh, the go. actors joined Let's go. now? Let's go. Let's go. Let's join in now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See where you get your entertainment from. Word. And All entertainment. Especially in hip hop. It'll be a whole lot of 99 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> Word. <laughs> 99 <laughs> bottles of beer. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a whole lot of Mary had a little lamb in the rain. Uh, hey, uh. dust off your twister. <laughs> Talk about it. Yo, NFL, we're going to have to extend this to about 20 games a year. Word. Nah, that's real. That's a good point. You kind of smart. You bring entertainment to a halt completely? Mm-hmm. You get shit, you get For results. the year, 2024, for the whole year. Yeah. It ain't going to last that long. I don't think it would. It ain't going to last that long. And this nigga's first year really being able to be back outside after mm-hmm. COVID. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The COVID. This is when you do it. Pressure. This is when you do it. Yeah, remember how COVID fell now. We're going to show you. Know why y'all so stupid out there? Why y'all should have been did it? Y'all ain't been dropping no fucking music anyway. Word. This was the year. Uh, y'all let them beat you down with all this. Oh, no number one rap album since eight months. Guess what? And there won't be none. No time soon. Get a load of that. They, they, we they, at home. They fell for the okie doke the other way. Like, oh, oh, we can bundle again. Yeah. Mm. We can bundle again. That's what they gave them. Hey, you can bundle again starting July. We can bundle. Yeah, we can bundle. Fucking idiot. Yeah, you're stupid, yo. Yeah, me the stupid. I don't know my shit. We can bundle. I don't own me. 
I work for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I work for y'all too, but I work for me. I solicit my own shit. When, when some of these industries get to stopping some shit, I'm going to keep on going. Oh, fuck okay. out of here. Oh, what else, uh, what else is the internet mad at? Uh, Drake did an interview with some little white girl. That's, that's the take. Drake did an interview with some little white girl. Okay. The internet okay. is mad about it. Why? Any reason? They want him to sit down yeah, with someone. Yeah, because they want Drake to stop sitting down with little white girls. <laughs> <laughs> we have to say that. That's what they're saying. I said this segment is what the internet is mad at. Drake has sat down with a bunch of little white girls or a bunch of just abstract media outlets. people that have nothing to do with music, really. So the music people, not me, making myself clear, but music people are like, all right, dog, enough's enough. <laughs> come back, come back like, home. Come on, mm -hmm. let's, yeah. let's hear it now. So they're mad about it. Yeah. I'm not. They're going to be mad. Yeah. People sit with who they're comfortable with sitting with. True. Mm -hmm. What they feel. When's the last time he did an a, a interview interview? Elliot. Elliot. Yeah. Mm. Elliot. He's done every interview. I want to go do some weird shit. I feel. And then there's that, there's that, that, there's that little interview beef going on. Well, not, I don't want to call it interview beef, but um, it was Lil Baby and Rallo, Rallo Rodriguez, excuse me. And he said that uh, Sway was the GOAT of hip hop media. And Elliot took offense to that and has been like, all right, I heard all that shit you said. Like, nobody's doing better interviews. Like, you just start poking his chest out, saying, like, he's. It's, it's, but Sway, Sway's, Sway's the man. I, Sway's the man. I didn't Sway's see what's wrong with that. You got to give Sway his. Sway is the man. I didn't see a thing wrong with it. What about that, Joe? What do I feel about it? Yeah, what mm -hmm. do you feel about I think Sway's? They, I think they're both goats. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not mad at anybody that says Sway is the greatest of all time. Got it. I don't see how you could be if it's me. But I do like Spicy Elliot. I like the competition. I like Spicy Elliot. Because I sat down with Elliot and was like, y'all niggas is, is, listen, people have been accusing them of being too boring, too on script, mm -hmm. too journalistic-y in this personality-driven era. True. So I do like Spicy Elliot, and it hasn't just started with the Sway shot. No, no. Nah, he's been at he's it. He's been, been at it. <laughs> he's I want to say it. since I left them. <laughs> so I do like that. But no, I think it started with the um the list. Yeah, it started with the list. That list, boy. That list shook a lot of shit up. It really did. If I don't make another list ever. I'll be tired. <laughs> I'll be tired about that. <laughs> 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 Th thank you, thank you for your honesty. Uh, yeah, no, I'll be tired. No, put me on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck these niggas talking about. <laughs> you don't really be tired. You'd be like seven. Uh, no, I wouldn't. No, I would not. Got it, bro. We were on a podcast. I know. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. If, if you were seventh pod man, you'd be like, word, y'all got him up. Yeah. You yeah. crack your knuckles yeah, yeah, like, yeah. all right, let's get busy. You turn up. I would apply uh, some lyrics from one of my favorite rappers ever, Royce the Five Nine, the verse where Kanye went up there and said, uh, and she tried to shit on Royce and M when they was nominated in the same category. Oh, yeah. Kanye went up there and thanked all the nominees. Everybody in that category. Except for <laughs> Royce and M. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, this yeah. game is so shady. Really? Mm -hmm. And Royce wrote a verse. Mm -hmm. I've been away from the game, so I don't remember it offhand. But the verse basically was saying, I wasn't he mad. He said they I motivated gotta... him, and normally that would be ammo to go with him. But, but that ain't my ammo. Yeah, it was, my, he was yeah. basically saying, I got to work harder. Yeah. If, if my peers that I think should acknowledge me in the moment when I'm nominated with them don't acknowledge me, then I just got to work a little harder. If I was seventh, I would just feel like I got to work harder. I'm number one and feel like I got to work harder. I was going to say, like, if you number one and has been number one on these lists for a minute, and you move to seven, it's like... Drastic fall off. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> what went wrong? Yeah. <laughs> if I moved to seven from one, I would be blaming y'all. Oh, <laughs> y'all have really dropped the ball. Oh, <laughs> wow. Y'all really let go of this platform. Yeah, you're just being honest today, huh? I'm telling the truth. Uh, I, I, wait, right. <laughs> so now... I would blame y'all. All right, so we hold know. on, hold on. We've been here for a couple up. years. That's and shady. You've been, We've been here for a couple years and you've been one. I, I so now I want the, now I want the other side of that. You get the other side of that. Right, I can't do it alone. All right, all right. I can't do this alone. All right, my nigga. Y'all are ones too on my <laughs> list. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate this nigga. Oh, that's hard work. Sometimes, wait. <laughs> sometimes I hate him. But y'all, <laughs> that's what. <laughs> This nigga different. <laughs> That's fucked nah, up. Nah, cuz when y'all got here, I was number one. So if I had slipped to number seven, come on, it's you can do math. 
<laughs> what you what we would have said? Damn, I got six slots worse. No, <laughs> you think that's what I would have deduced? No, we, we know. You know me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I said we know, nigga. Yeah, I'm with you. I know. Oh, that's wrong. If you <laughs> went from number one to number seven, if you tell me it's wrong, I change right now. Sure. <laughs> no. If you went from number one to number seven when we got here, that might just big up the other people. Yeah, no, true. That's a fact. All right. But you know the yin yang in the world. Bigging up somebody else means that what? <laughs> in Joe Button brain. Big, big down you taught here. me this. I did not. Oh, uh, come on. Like you it. just said it in your interview, too. <laughs> Damn. Yo, yo dog, look. why do you, my interviews <laughs> mean? What he said? What he said? What he said? Quote it. 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 None of that. I don't know what that nigga said. I don't know what I said. Read that nigga shit. Me either. <laughs> but yo, that's not necessarily. Why you keep sneaking the interviews out on us though? Why you don't tell us yet? Facts. About to drop another bomb this week. I, yo, didn't, I, got I didn't even drop it. What are you talking? Oh, I didn't even drop it. Now what? And on top of that, that was the same photo shoot, nigga. I know what that is. No, no, actually, that's what I want to laugh at. It's not. On the source, he had the wrinkled, beat up V-neck. It wasn't wrinkled. <laughs> it wasn't new. It and was Chris brand did. spanking. Them. No. I th- well, the lens, was, the lens of the camera was dirty. It was brand spanking. <laughs> the lens was dirty. <laughs> they, I don't they wear, the phone, they put the thing we touched. We changed the shit. We touching, you know. Yeah. Wear wrinkled clothes. Oh, they put the filter on that shit. <laughs> they put the dirty clothes filter. <laughs> now my man don't wear little. His shit, his shit got a crease right now in this new yeah, shirt. Yeah, what? What you've ever seen Ish with a wrinkle yeah. without a crease? I'm ignoring this nigga. He read the comments too much. That's what the comments were saying. No, the picture wasn't your it most was not steamed. It was not. Pull it up. Pull it up. But on the new picture, while you do that, it was a suit and tie. Like, din, 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 din. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him the suit and tie yeah, flavor? Nah, just the blazer. He ain't want to put the tie. It was just the blazer. Yeah, you ain't even blazer in the collar. Yo, you saw it? Blazer in the collar. Yo, you saw it? Blazer in the collar. Casual. Nigga went to fucking. You went back to Century 21? Oh, shit. You want to see that? You ready? <laughs> yo, what's wrong with you, yo? You and you. All right, now I'm done. I'm off it. Pause. Dude, Pause. No, I'm off it. I support it. Uh, all right, so y'all have Sway in the Elliot Sway versus. I don't know if I have Sway, I but I, I think I do. Damn, who? Mm. I got Sway. As far as broadcast, uh, yeah. Journalism, wait, Parks, I can give it to Elliot. Parks, hold up for Go a second. Ahead. Flip just showed uh, Mel a picture ish on the interview. What she said. She cracked jokes. No, she... I did not crack jokes. She liked it. He, looked, face, huh? he looked very nice. Thank you. It looks very Forbes ish. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I'll get there. Yeah. I'll work harder. You look like a real estate agent. Okay, that's, that's two right. compliments. Right. That's another right. You got it. You like the picture. <laughs> yeah. All right. You like it. We got it. <laughs> yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that foot get the gone. Why both of y'all feet do? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> We said Mark. What happened? Uh, I said Sway as far as broadcast, but uh, Ellie in journalism. You always got these. these yeah, fucking you see him. You see him. Boy, like, oh boy, same boy. Same. You boy. Shit down. Hey. Storytelling, all the biography, <laughs> <laughs> journalism. <Yeah. laughs> Pause. Shut the fuck up. Niggas hip hop, nigga. It's Sway. Did you, you give your opinion? Yeah, it's Sway. Tough guy. It's Sway. I, I, I like I like Sway. I like Sway too. But Elliot is fire. But you know, Sway. I've been watching Sway for years. I watched yeah. Sway more Sway than Elliot. Decades. Yeah, I watched more Sway than Elliot. I grew up on Sway. You know what I'm saying? Man, you grew up on Elliot too. You just don't know. Word. I was about that's to say. And that's I my just, yeah. I was just about yeah. to say. See? I was about to ask y'all. Hence why has so. Elliot been around for a long, long time? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, 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 but to, put, put me on, yeah. Parks, because Elliot was uh, uh, a journalist. journalist and an editor for the Source and a Double XL, which is massive. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. Sway was more into broadcast. See, I didn't know that. Radio and then MTV and mm. now his radio True. show oh, again. Right. So now he mm. makes sense that from Shout a journalistic standpoint. Hello. Yeah, from L's it point. It has got to be all right, Parks. Okay. All right. <laughs> L could be looking at it like, nah, fuck all that. True. Definitely. I agree. Well, I like that, though. I like Spicy Elliot. Me too. It's funny. That makes mm. sense. I can't wait. To do- <laughs> bam, 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 bam. I can't wait. To- Suit and tie head ass. Yeah, yeah, nigga. He don't know what that is. He do, he do. He, he know, know, he know that. Hov on it. He yeah. know that. Oh, yeah, Hov is on it. Yeah, he know uh, that. What else? What else? What else? What else? Let's see. The SBs. The SBs happened. Come on, clap it up. Ron. Clap it up. Lil Wayne performed a Millie and rearranged, changed some of the lyrics that was fire. to incorporate modern day sports stars and storylines. Come on. Come on. Right. 
He said he Come on, <laughs> man. That was fire. A genius at work. Fire. I oh, said he bodied it. He did. He did. He bodied it. He did. He did know, a great job. Well, I know you got it. I have it. I know. If you want to hear it, we do. Your money is here. A millionaire. I'm a young money millionaire. Tougher than Nigerian hair. My criteria compared to your career is isn't fair. And I'm over New Orleans like an angel. Reese and my pencil in. Oh. On the tablet in my mind. God is good. Jamal Hamlin doing fine. And the second oh. thing I was going to in the old. Prime Colorado. Come on. Regular Amelie lyrics here. Here we go. Victor Wimben Yan. Pop them. Come on. The Packers. You know that I'm a problem. Okay, you're a goo. What's a go to a goblin? Nothing. Nah, nothing. You ain't saying nothing. Hey. I want my NIL, so I'm going back to college. NIL. J.R. Smith. Come on, Rodman. Come on, man. <laughs> the GOAT. <laughs> One of the best. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Wayne. What come on. It's only one. Shout out to Wayne, man. It's only one. I like it. I like React. It. Shouts to, I, he did. Ice thinks it's super fire. I like it too. Ish, how do you feel? React. It sounds fire, but why do am I getting sarcasm from you? It was, it was blah. It was alright. It just sounded like um when they remix things for commercials a little bit. Uh, it's the ESPYs. It's Wayne yeah. remixing it for a commercial. Exactly. Yeah, it has to be PG. So why would 13. I think that that's so fire? Mm. fire. I like. I don't it. work I like for it. the ESPYs. I don't do nothing in sports. And I heard the real Amelie, like outside in clubs. <laughs> so why would His I want to He can't say there. I know. Like what? I'm not saying I'm here either. <laughs> like Victor Women Yana. No, there's uh, there's lines he just can't say. And well, well, you put, didn't you say pop. something else? Did you say something else? Yeah. I don't want to hear So now I make it sports themed on, on brand with hey, what listen, I'm here for mm, Listen true. buddy If you think that was The most amazing thing I didn't say nothing bread. about The most amazing thing Since sliced bread you know, I said It sounds, he it. It sounds it. like the producers Came up with this idea and they, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I got a nice check for it Of course God bless I'll be up here When by me in too <laughs> I ain't mad at him Fuck it Get that bread Wayne It was alright It wasn't fly to me Shouts to Wayne He killed Shouts it Wayne. as usual I'm glad to see this Wayne. I was very critical of Wayne's performances, so when I see him do something good, I'm going to shout it out. I agree with Ice. What's that T-shirt about you got on? Now I got to get into you. Man, see, dads are cool, too, and it's all the time. TV dads. Where did you, get, dads. Where did you dads. get it from? Yo, you really... <laughs> he be mad at the one-on-ones. I do. Uh, it's Why? It's a one-on-one? Why do you be mad? Because he's stunning. He looks good. You want one? I do. Say less. I look like one of them niggas on there. <laughs> <laughs> like two of them niggas. Call like a love. combination of like six of them niggas. <laughs> hey, yo, if you don't get your... Nah, you do. Yo, you what? My man. You like Carl? You like Carl Winslow? <laughs> no, I don't like Carl Winslow. I'm saying that's, that's the one you relate to the most? He says he I looks like him. Oh, yes. I'm just asking. You laughing at me, Ish? I'm laughing at Ice. Uzi did respond to these uh, comments he's been making about experimental tapes and the real tape is coming and blah, 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 blah. He spoke to act. This is what he said. Sensations is not, is Uzi, whatever, whatever. It's, 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 a, it's a very select conversation. Is Uzi still him? What is him? The most influential nigga in the culture. The most talented nigga who's dropping songs that is just fucking. I'm still trying shit. That's why. It's not even about the music being all the way 100% good. I'm trying. I'm still trying. I'm trying. I, I, I never stop trying. Even when y'all think I'm not doing shit, I'm trying shit behind the scenes. Until it sounds good enough for me to present it to y'all. I'm trying. I've been trying the whole time. I've never not been trying. I tell you, we don't like a, a scientist don't go overnight like hi, like on the movies. It took Robert Williams to make Flubber the whole damn movie. It took him the whole movie to make it right. You know, a movie two hours, but a movie is really like a, a, a year and a two, two hours. It took him the whole movie to make Flubber. To be right. 
Flubber wasn't right. He's putting that shit on motherfuckers' basketball shoes and shit. It was fun. All right, thanks for telling me about Flubber. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think about that? I appreciate any artist that's out there trying, so I don't want to take away from that. But that was a crock of shit. I think the word he meant was experimenting. That's what like, he's saying. That's what he's yeah. saying. Yeah, mm-hmm. like rather than trying. Why do why you think it's a crock of shit? Because that goes out the window once you sell it to me. It's not you're trying anymore. This is the product that you're selling. If the plumber come over to fix some shit and want to try out some new methods, you should have did that shit before you got here. Once you're here to do the service, fix the shit. Don't experiment with don't experiment on my dime. Experiment on yours when you paying for studio time, when your label's paying for the studio time, while I'm home knowing nothing about what you're doing. He's been away for years. You had time to experiment, nigga. Once you sell it, that's what you're standing in. It's not the time for you to say, hey, my real shit is coming in two weeks. Dirk did the same thing recently. He said, yo, my deluxe is coming. Honestly, this should have been the main. Stop saying that to people. I think as a disclaimer. Um, I think when they, I think it's after the reactions that they get. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I think too. Trying to clean it up. But yeah, but then there's a slap. It's a slap in and the face to niggas that could read through all of this bullshit that y'all out here. But saying. at the same time, if I am trying to experiment with a new sound and I think I got it, I still got to now take it somewhere to my label or whatever, and I, they got to they got to okay that. Stand in it. They put it out. That's that's, yeah. that's so, why so I'm saying that it, that's why I'm saying it's bullshit. Because once you took it to your label. Whatever results uh, come from that, stand in that. So it's not the product; it's the, um, the my real album is coming. Or I don't like this. that. I don't yes. like, I don't like that my real album shit. I do appreciate the fact that because we knock artists all the time when they just keep putting Make out the, the same, same exact shit. thing mm-hmm. and they don't try anything new, they don't try to push the envelope. Yep. We diss them when they do that. Uh-huh. So I do definitely appreciate an artist of his magnitude that's trying to do different things. Mm-hmm. But when you package it up, you sell it. Don't do it on. Don't do it. It on NBA, don't sh- don't try some new fucking move on NBA on TNT our eight o'clock game. I don't want to see that. You should have been in the gym that morning or the month, work on your fucking moves and come out here and try to get it done because that's the product now. When you step on the floor, same now, with him. See, I, I I I disagree with that piece right Good. there, but I think that you can try it. And just say y'all tried something new. Right. Whether it hit, whether it missed, I tried something new. Don't you, say, yo, dog. You don't know if it worked until you put it out, though. And it's my thing. So don't say a week Make after your album drops. Make something that you're proud enough to yes. stand yeah. in no don't say matter after what. my album drops. Yo, my real album yeah. is coming next month. That's some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Say, yo, this is my album, even if it's not well received. Like it or so, not. The, so the, word, not so the wording is what bothers y'all. No, the excuse and the disclaimer that you put out that the real album is on the way. Because yeah. we've seen this shit with artists that are signed to the labels. You got to put the label album out. And then so, after that, you get the... That's, you, what, that's you where the mixing is. It's just, it's just a clean And it's been years. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's been a clean up. It's been years. You put Even it out. And you're manipulating the audience. You put it out. You manipulate. You, My no, thing well, is, again, well, I tried something new. If it don't hit, he had the number one album uh, uh, in the country. Right. But if it don't hit, you can say, yo, dig, I, I went a different direction artistically. I put something out. I tried something new. Here's and something di- for the diehards or something. There some you shit. go. Yeah. Yeah. Or don't even say that. Just put out another project immediately after. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't even don't, the, even, the, even the pushing it to number one was, yo, if y'all do this, I'll give you that. I forgot that piece. That was awesome. again, and I think all of that's I just. Think part, I think all, that all that's just business. I think all that's just part of the business. I'm gonna do. But we see these niggas do whatever they could do to get their album. Try to shoot up the number one. True. So if I gotta say this, yo, cool. Go buy this album. If y'all make it number one, I'll give you this because I know y'all might Listen, not like I'm it. I'm telling not you him. the things that uh, me as a consumer feel like is a smack in the face to me when I hear it. True. I'm not telling nobody else how to feel about it. But when I hear that, yo, this should be my should have been my main. Well, nigga, to make it to fucking main. You've been living with these records. You don't let everybody hear these records. Y'all don't have Think Tank, the label, the A&R. Your niggas heard them. Everybody heard them. Should have been my fucking main. This is to y'all point about when uh, uh, Metro resequenced mm-hmm. Thug fucking album. Thug's album. Like, take some time and, and present the shit the way it should be presented. True. True. And then if we're going to kill it, then live with it. Mm. See, even that. I don't look at that as as that. I look at that as the same way, like I, I used Gunner's last album, not not the one that just came out. Classic, should have went triple. Oh. But the, the previous one, um, DS Forever. 
they got this thing where the album come out and then two, three days later, you finding a way to put the album back out again, whether it be with one new record, whatever you want to call it. I think that's what happened in Thug Case. Hey, Metro's version. We just flipped the songs around and we added the two songs. They just changed, instead of saying deluxe, they called it Metro's version. Because we've seen that happen with a bunch of albums. The album dropped Friday and Monday, there's a deluxe with two new songs. From Big Axe, The Weeknd did it. I don't care about that. I'm, I'm just saying that I, I'm this about looks at your words. That's why I said it's it the word out. part that is what's, is what's holding y'all up. Because it's the same practice, they just change the words. Yes. Dropping the album and putting it back out for whatever reason, it's the same project. The same, words same speak to your intent. So while the action may be the same, the intent don't be the same. True. So they should stop trying to sell people shit and then telling them that it's half ass shit. Because you manipulate the audience. They should stop doing that. Mm -hmm. And you, I'm trying to basically manipulate the audience. That, no, but I'm saying, basically saying, I, I ain't put that much, like... But I, the arrogance I, of being so blatant about yeah. it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I understand it. I'm just saying, from their end, is they are trying to manipulate the audience. That's clear what they're doing. I'm trying to just... I want to shoot these sales. You should be a little up, bit so, more covert about how you yeah. manipulate your audience, I think. I think when these niggas are sheep, you can tell them whatever, and they still going to go, and they're proving it. They are proving it. We don't have to be covert. I can tell you exactly what it is, and y'all still gonna run out and buy it. Listen, all they don't give a fuck enough to put out the real product on the first release, and I don't give a fuck enough to talk about them for more than five minutes. Got it. I'm, I'm with you there. There you go. Mm. Uh, well, let's try to knock out a few of these. Okay. Because this one should be simple. This is from, this is our part of the show segment. This is from Mass3NJ. Hello, Mass3NJ. What's up, Mass? Mass says, this is a conversation I've seen going around and one I had before that I wanted to ask you guys. Well, all right. In a committed relationship, is it inappropriate to like thirst trap pics on IG, especially of obtainable women or men? I myself stopped because we had the talk, and I wouldn't like it if she was liking shirtless pics of guys that she knew. Is this compromise you guys would respect, or do you think it's inappropriate? I think it depends on your um, your boundaries in your relationship. Mm -hmm. True. Me and my girl don't trip over that shit. It's whatever. Yeah, me and my girl. Me and my girl, we don't trip like shit. We race to certain chicks' pictures because yeah. we same, like the same yeah. shit. But um, we it's funny. We were just having this conversation, and she was saying, "I don't give a damn what you like." She's like, "But if it's a picture and it's just her ass or something, and I see you like under there, I might feel away." Yeah, I don't, if it's I'm super not gonna gratuitous, break. I can yeah. see being an issue. Like if it was a fucking dick print pick or something mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. you'd be like, "All right, dog." Like, yeah, yeah, you wilding now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. You know, it's, it's really just what whatever <laughs> y'all in your relationship, whatever y'all agree upon. Like what working Parks and his wife relationship, or Ish and his girl, me and my girl. It, for the gentleman that asked, you got to have a conversation with her. True. I, I think it's compromise. I think it's healthy compromise. Mm -hmm. It is. I think if it's if it if you arrive at that um, verdict. Mutually, mm. then it's cool. I think if one person is forcing the other person to do that, I don't think it's cool because it's something that you're not really volunteering to do. Mm. Um, I don't care. I don't even know what my girl likes. To be honest with you, I don't. I've I also had some friends in, in in relationships where they were like super overprotective about that shit. Yes. Like, yo, you got to unfollow these girls. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, don't even know yeah. type mm -hmm. shit. It's like, fam, that's I, an I, unreasonable. I, one of my friends' relationships, they had to go unlike. All the shit. That's crazy. Really? So, yeah. Like, wow. how long that it take? Yeah. Well, so, I mean, <laughs> just delete the count. That point. At that point, bro, I've been liking for I years. Think it's insecurity, but no, I feel you on that. I make it a point to make sure my name is right next to all the baddies' pictures, so my girl can see it if she follows them. And I better not see her name under nothing or else. Uh, uh, what? What's you, you, run, you run your house, you don't run around oh, in it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's right. <laughs> I mean, nah, nah, true that. This, this is one of those areas where the double standard applies. Man. Sorry, I'm me. Mel, you, you. Mm. What, what would you take you to? Um, if you had someone who cared about you, I would. Honestly, in my age, it really, if you are, if you're that active on social media, kind of probably be a little bit of a turn, turn off. Turn off, gotcha. Yeah, for me. But you, you know? but you can go to the Usher concert and dress with your ass out and twirl around and do whatever the fuck you want. I huh? haven't done anything. But you said so much. You, you said you wanted to. Huh? No, you said you, you said, said your man couldn't say nothing. What about me going to the Usher concert? Yes, and with the outfit like he had on, on and you said, said nobody could say your man can say something to you. You said you, that. you really, really had a problem with her outfit. No. These niggas 
Wait, hold yeah. on. These niggas, I don't give a fuck about her outfit. Don't answer the question with the question. Yeah. <laughs> so it would be a turn off if he was liking pictures, but you should be able to do that and he say nothing to you. Just a yes or no. No, I mean literally. I understand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. I want to hear your stance. I think that, you know, Ice's point of saying, you know, the gratuitous stuff, if it was like just like an ass as a picture and he's liking it, I'd be like, Really? Like, really? Are you serious? You know, like that impresses me. Really what if it really wasn't nice? Really wasn't nice ass. Because if it was Just your man, it was like okay, fine. You know, I have no problems with him appreciating other women's beauty. Like uh, not for nothing. I, I love I this think, shit because yeah. for the first time, I'm with someone and we have the same type of woman. Mm -hmm. That's nice. never happened. It's usually exact opposites. Like what she like is not what I like. So mm -hmm. Me and my girl, we love the same type of chick. So this is, we be right there. Click click. I'm like, damn. Yo, you, what type? She, what type of thing? The Slim. type that I like. Um, Slim thick? Like, I'll, be, I'll call her, damn, yo, she just put 13 minutes ago. You already under that. Like, we joke about the shit. Oh, so you're policing her? No, I'm not policing her. I said we joke. You're policing the likes. Joke. So, ha ha. So, ha ha. So you police joke. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I do no, that. sir. I do police that too. Academy. <laughs> no, sir. I be doing that, sir. <laughs> police Academy. No, sir. <laughs> nah, police joking is the shit. No, no, no. Ah, I see what you did. Ha ha. Ain't no policing over here. <laughs> Yo, you made that move. You thought I wouldn't see, but I said, ah, damn, just nine minutes ago. Why you couldn't wait? Ha ha. No, we be we be getting we we have fun with that. What shit. a laugh. We have fun with it. <laughs> I don't know. This guy, yo. <laughs> well, you don't police joke. Nah. <laughs> you police police. <laughs> <laughs> you like FBI police. <laughs> Secret service. Yeah, that nigga's like the SWAT police. I don't do none of that. All right, come on now. Nah, I got some more. We got some more. We got some more. Am I wrong for not compromising with my ex slash mother of my child? Ooh. Yes. Just to be as concise as possible, she believes. Oh, and this is from Jonathan Q. One, two, three. Jonathan. Just to be at just to be as concise as possible, she believes I should work on my flaws before regaining a title of being together. She has flaws as well, but I don't remove our title until she. But I don't remove our title until she improves hers. Is that right? Yes. That's right. She has flaws. Well, all right. I don't believe in that. I believe in improving each other while being together, not abandoning each other while there's improvement to be made, especially when you've shown improvement and they add new things to the list. This is my first real relationship, and it's with a woman older than me that grew up in dysfunction, dysfunction like most of us. That's the end. To that, you gentlemen say, I toss it to our panel of experts. Um... Uh... It's tough. I think that uh, I don't know how old he is in comparison to how old she is. Sounds a little controlly, um, especially if she putting you on a back burner while you quote unquote grow. Mm -hmm. So now, what if you get your shit popping? Now you could come back. I think that's what. Mm. I think that yo, you go over there, get right, and then come back over here. Is that's a weird way to handle it? It's a little. It's a little. It's a little funny. I understand though. It could because it could be deal breaker shit. Like, it could be deal-breaker shit. Everybody has our deal-breakers in relationships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we, you know what I mean? You gone. Mm -hmm. Some things are tolerable, some things are not. I just think it sounds a little funny, like, when you like, yo, well, you could go over there, get right, and then come back. I don't really like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I don't like it either, but I think there are exceptions. Yeah, it depends on what you're... That's what I said. Like, if mm -hmm. it's a deal-breaker What deal you What are you working on? You know what I mean? Do you yeah. yeah, like, if I'm your partner and I feel like where you're trying to go, you can't get there while we're together. Like, you got too much focus on me. Like, I'm too much of a distraction. You calling it love, but I can see how it's affecting your work. Then I'm going to remove myself and say, hey, try to go try and get it done. Get yourself right. Mm. There's, there's something that is... But, 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 but would that affect them more? What if that causes them more, you know? Uh, Bill's what character. Bill's character. Oh, shit. Yeah. I believe that. It does, but if you if you say that, okay, I see that crazy. I'm distracting you. Wait, what? <laughs> Listen, hold on, hold on, because I'm hate doing these that. Niggas. They need to fucking I, stop doing. You always laughing. You always being vulnerable. I'm trying to talk to you as my brother, bro. Let me hear. It. So if you see, you're saying that if you see somebody struggling and you're the distraction, you're going to remove yourself and tell them to go focus on their shit. And it builds character. Don't forget that part. Yeah, and it builds character. <laughs> so it's not like that you. It's not the fact that you may. Feel like they're too much on. Wait, hold on. They may be possessive, and you want to remove yourself. It's just like the Conway is like, nah. Go, go focus on your job and shit like that over there. Go focus on work. 
I'm gonna move myself because I feel like I'm a distraction to you. If you, if possessiveness is distracting you from work, then you, we need to remove the possession. But then it may be okay. But then what? we're removing what they became possessed of in the first place. That's what I'm talking about. But I don't think it'd be that easy to remove yourself. Oh, speak for yourself. I get the fuck out of here. Hmm. <laughs> you pardon? I'm not pardon. Nigga, you had bitches come climb through your window and trees, nigga. Because I left. Exactly. So it wasn't easy. That's what I'm saying. I get the fuck out of there. <laughs> All right, but it still made it hard for you, Joe. You they still made it hard, but that's still it's still a distraction. That's a distraction. I see. Okay. All right. I got what you're saying. Parks. Yeah, I think it depends on what the behavior that you got to work on is. Mm. Like if it's, I've had people that have chemical dependency. Mm-hmm. Mm. You might have to go handle it, like to the point where your you're own. destructive. You're fucking up the house. You're, you, you know what I mean. You might have to go work on that yourself, and then maybe we can talk. But then, when y'all say maybe we can talk, who the fuck actually waits? Like, we got to stop doing that. I mean, if you really care about them and stuff like that, you may be there if it's a rehab situation or something like that. But a lot of people don't wait. When people say those lines, "Well, go take care of it," and I'll be here, niggas, <laughs> niggas, it depends. Wait. It depends. Uh, and there's also a scale. What's the like, chances? Depends on where you are in your life. If I'm around when you get your shit right. Everybody in here has, has been going about their business and bumped into somebody that they used to fuck, date, or be in a relationship Talk about with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you don't have to think that you're waiting for that person. You could be going on about your business, and they went on about theirs. Yeah, life has been in the cross later. And you have that catch-up talk. Hey, what's yeah. been going on? And shit is lighting up. True, I see what like you're saying. Like, we just seen Rock. Rock, I came in, shit like that. But I look at it, okay, that, that does happen. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't, it happens I, all the time. That's not what I was saying, but I, I, I agree. There's also a sliding scale. If we're talking about chemical dependency for for this kind of extreme example, maybe they're in a terrible self-destructive spot, but they can get to a point where it's at least manageable and you can be around them. Or you knew them prior to. Yeah. So, and you know and what I, mean? I loved it's a, you prior to, too. and now you went down this slippery slope. I can't be a part of that because I got this going on. Um, I can't let my kids see that, whatever the right. case may be. So if you get yourself together, maybe you could come back and we could hopefully... Amend this thing. Right. I'm, that's a good example. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Hopefully, John. we were able John to Q. help. John Q, you got a heart? Uh, let's see here. I don't have anything in TV that I need to share about. Oh, hijack. Oh, hijack. It's hijack. fire, by the way. I'm finally, Chill. Stop. 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 finally Thank watched you. it and caught up. That shit is Woo. fire. Stop. Wait. They said the hijack on Twitter. It's like the number one show. That shit is fire. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to get carried away, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. This shit is yeah. great. Very, very don't say very nothing because I'm about to watch it this weekend. I got I got to struggle hard to understand them accents and motherfuckers. Oh, we put on um, the subtitles. 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 Yeah, subtitles. I can't watch TV without subtitles. Anything. I mean, but, if it's got but it's great so far. Yeah, it's great. It's great it's so far. Great. Yeah, I like mm. that. And I was telling you guys like that. Hey, it ain't gonna, oh, I'm sorry. It ain't going to be no TV report soon, too. So let's yeah. get them all yeah. out yeah. now. Let's get yeah. it in. Yeah. What do you say, Mel? Um, there's a series also on Apple called um, The Crowded Room. I started it. Tom Holland, yeah. Superman. Or Spider-Man, I should say. I started yeah. it. I only watched one episode. A little so. bit of a slow burn, but That's as it's I getting further ask, into it, it's getting really, 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 really good. I'm going to ask you a question. Sure this weekend. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about what Tom Holland said about how How he's taking a break from acting? Yeah, like how do you feel about that? What do you think that, that is? Uh, well, after watching this series, I understand why he said it. He said that this particular role in the series called The Crowded Room, um, that he needed to take he needed to take a break because he's you know, he's one of those actors that gets method, real method intense, actor. you know. Um, and he just said it really wore on him. Is doing it like this what happened role. to the Joker? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But but he said that I love um he said something I love movies, but I don't love Hollywood or yeah, something. He hates, like that. The, hates the business. He's, yeah. Yeah, he hates the business. He's trying to get as far as he can away from it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So because you know you you are you know I mean I actress and actor uh, I'm, listen I'm all for this younger generation of actors actresses um, athletes mm -hmm. um, like Naomi Osa um, Osaka, Osaka uh -huh. acknowledging that they aren't going to burn themselves out or you know compromise their mental health for the sake of work or for the okay. sake of everybody's expectations of them, they acknowledge when they have hit their breaking point Got it. and they need to take a break from it. 
I I really love that about them. I respect you know, that. I, I have an enormous amount of respect. So for him to say, listen, I need to take a really long break, assess what's going on in my life. I think that that's dope because it is a really intense role. This movie or sorry, this series, The Crowded Room. Like it's, it's dope. And yeah. shout to uh, yeah. Naomi Osaka and Corday. They, oh, they had a baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, congrats. Shout, shout out to them. To them. Yeah. I think more people is just kind of what you were saying about Tom Holland. They, they just realizing they starting to see more. They are getting more information about the actual business, mm -hmm. and it's just running people away. Yeah. Like, I mean, I found his quote. And he was like, "I'm a massive fan of making movies, but I do not like Hollywood. It's yeah, not for me. Mm -hmm. The business really scares me. I understand that I'm a part of that business and I enjoy my interactions, but I'm looking for ways to remove myself from it. You also gotta look at the names that we're like, naming. These people are at the top of the heap. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. They, they can chill. imagine it. They can chill. They can fall back." Yeah. Y'all good? Yeah, we good. Oh, yeah, we straight. I was, we good. Yeah, more. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Yo, Reddit dudes. I seen there was a thread on Reddit about the water guns that we had here, the Spira joints. And then it was like 70 comments complaining about the price of it. It was $178. And I had a good laugh to myself in bed. <laughs> Laying down like whack 100. Just getting a good, good little laugh in. So I want to just tell y'all, I don't want to hear anything else about me or my life from you if you don't have $200 for fun, for like some entertainment shit for yourself. Unless it's... If you don't have that, then take my name off of the list of people that you can critique and bother mm -mm -mm. and annoy. Mm -mm. Feel like there's other things for you losers to do. Oh my God. If that 179 really swayed things in the household. Do, 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 do. Pack it up. And that's on that. I'm dead ass. <laughs> I know y'all looking like, oh, he's wild again. Oh, I am dead to fuck ass. We know it. Those water guns are Niggas wanna Y'all don't get to dissect all this shit we talk about up here. You can't buy the water gun? Oh my god, did you see how H talked to Iso? Oh my god, I take flip, oh my god, and parks him a little No! 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 I'm putting my foot down, yo. I'm putting my foot down. Bro, Fab Fab told you how much the Wi-Fi costs, man. That's the problem. That's the problem. Everything else then got inflated except for Wi-Fi. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. No. We need to fix that. That need to be fixed. That'll change some shit. I need elitism to hit the net. <laughs> 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 That's what the problem is right there. Yeah, I ain't gonna. I gotta tell it to you. Oh, uh, all right. Let's God, see here. Crazy. All right, man. Another great pod. Yada yada yada. Fuck bitches. Get money. Hold it down. Have a blast. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy your friends, your family, your hobbies, your vices. Do you, nobody else is going to do it for you. Yeah, you know I mean, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Hey, until next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, au revoir. Remember, life is a series of moments. Hold up. And moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we. As if it's all we have. And last but certainly not least, I wouldn't let you go. Of course you don't want to go, bitch. I'm him. Fuck you talking about. Why you got to go to heaven and you here? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> last but not least, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. The closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. Show me how deep love can be. That's why I put my whole pelvic in that bit. <laughs> Show me how deep love. Oh. <laughs> That's inappropriate. <laughs> oh my God. If I would have did that, it's over. Y'all and your partner ever come together at the same time? Tell me about it. It's lit. Yes. Before we go, it is very lit. Very, Who, very amazing. Very lit. Who makes a noise first? Probably me. Wait. <laughs> hey, that's her shit. She Why did like you that. slow it down like that? Stop, question, man. Nigga. I'm gonna answer the question. Why'd you play that? Now? I'm being vulnerable. I'm answering the question. That's a nigga doing a DJ move. <laughs>
Don't let's let's walk it out. Let's walk it out real That's quick because I'm not laughing yet. Nothing's funny yet. You can be vulnerable here. I'm comfortable, sir. So, one of y'all has to say I'm about to come first, right? Mm. Or one of y'all has to do a body movement to say you know you're about to come, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, You know. Mm-hmm. So, you know. I gotta so, say when it. you think she's about to come and you feel you about to come, you'll start screaming first. I ain't nobody saying about <laughs> screaming. You said who makes a noise first. So, you'll start moaning before she does. I'm moaning already. So, you just nonstop moan. That's her. She, she likes that. She likes to hear the when moan. You mo- me too. I like Let me hear it. <laughs> yo, 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 I, no, 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 I love y'all. We'll catch y'all Wait, same you time next time. You can't moan first. You, you can't, can't moan in front of you. Tell me what I could do with my girl, nigga. Moan, you can't moan first if you're coming at the same time. She has to make a noise first, and then you join in. You're okay. a tenor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong. You do what you do. You make, you well, I asked the whole panel. I'm not focusing on ice. Because I think before girls start to come, they start to get to. Uh, it yeah. works up to that. It does. So she already. Making a little noise. Yeah, she already, you know what I mean? We moaning already. But when it's that point, louder. We getting there. Right? Yo, let me get them glasses. Ice is my man. Yo, I love Ice. ice. I love Ice. I that love nigga starts screaming yeah. first. He don't care. I don't give a fuck. He don't I'm give a fuck. I'm not trying to impress these niggas. Flip you. And girls really like the moan. Bruh. I started moaning more because of her. She was like, after I her though. I wait, I, I wait till she do it. I used to be on some macho so, shit. Like, like, I'm going to This nigga said, I started moaning. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, yo, I be on my macho shit. And then she like, no, I like that. that do it. Okay. Some women like when you girls, less, man. Really like, you get, you're being on macho less. shit during, during sex is hilarious. It really is. <laughs> like, what are y'all talking about as men? As men shit. Hold up, hold up. I'm we, telling you the we truth. We started this on men shit, we ended on men shit. You can't hide your pimple and wait, what that shit he just said? Being on macho shit. What is macho shit during sex? Should we take that to Patreon? Yes. We could. We could. Yes, we should. A white older lady gets on the elevator with me and all of a sudden she clutches her purse. It made me feel some type of way and then it made the whole situation uncomfortable because I'm pulling, she's pulling. It <laughs> 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 was funny. Listen, <laughs> I'm just ending with a couple of quick little jokes, <laughs> ending in a good mood. <laughs> no, that was funny. I like this type of stupid dark humor. Here's the last one, and we get out of here. Dad was a big time alcoholic, major league alcoholic, blackout every night kind of alcoholic. But to his credit, my dad never once laid a finger on either me or my mom, not once. And I don't know if it was just because he loved us so much, or if he just hated my sisters. But either way. <laughs> yo, I want to tell inappropriate jokes like this, yo. I do. But they would hang me. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, would. can't. That's- why though? Because I'm not a comedian. Right. And if I said I was a comedian, then the comedians would come out and say, hey. You're not a comedian. Right. Fucking black pay ass nigga. Yeah, pay, pay, your, pay your dues and they're redrawing the New York congressional map. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Love you guys. JBP. <laughs> 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 JBP, where would you be without the JBP? No, Joe Biden.